Yo, Chronic Monkey, how you doing? Can you guys see me? Can you see me on kick? Yeah, there we go. Right. Two seconds. And then we got Facebook on this side. Which is good stuff. Right. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just trying to get things sorted. Right, and then bring up kick on this side because then I can I can monitor this side because then I can oop, echo. Hey, up brown, uh, brown air. Hey, up Michelle. M Michelle, <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> Fucking hell, Michelle. Fucking hell. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Right, so this is going to be like my first podcast tonight, guys. B bear with it. Uh, it's uh, I'm j <laughs> fucking Michelle. Not got my glasses on. Not got my gigs on. That's what it'll be. Don't really need my glasses on, to be fair, because I'm only, I'm only chatting tonight. Uh, when we start playing games, I put the gigs on. But yeah, I think Afro's still sorting out his stuff there. But uh, we're all we're doing is, guys, we're going to just do... We're going to talk some shit. We're going to talk about things within, you know, everyday life. Uh, put some polls up on Facebook. Ian, welcome. Tracy, welcome. Richard Owen, welcome. How you doing? Uh, but we're going to talk about, you know, from cancel culture... We're going to talk gaming. We're going to talk, obviously, let's see where that gaming leads us on. For what the fuck is Afro doing? That's Afro in the top left hand corner there. Uh, obviously, that's Afro Ranger. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk some we're gonna talk some nonsense, some unpopular opinions. So if you want to put an unpopular opinion in the chat, I might bring it up and then we'll see what we can do. And obviously, then if you want to, you guys want to get involved and ask questions to all of us. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll go from there, but. Liverpool aren't shit though, let's be honest. Liverpool are not shit and, uh, and they're starting to get, they're starting to, you know, get in the stride again. We're shit. If we're shit, we made fucking Arsenal look diabolical and they're at the top of the league the other day. Let's be honest. Right, let's get these guys involved. So, obviously, we're going to have OG and Afro Ranger uh, is going to be talking. Keith, evening chat. Dan, Afro and OG. How are you doing, Keith? Yo, guys, you there? I am indeed. Let me just change a few things. I'm still here, though. Yeah, we are indeed. OG? Yo! You're not putting <laughs> your camera on, OG, no. I've got it on, but I've got it on like you've got it on. Oh, right. I don't, know how, I don't know how to get you on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck just happened then? What do you mean, daddy? <laughs> I'm sorry, OG. The fuck did you just say? Fuck you, know what else you're I've, I've, I, 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 Are you there, OG? Yeah, I'm on, but I've not. I'm not on. I've got you on, but I'm not on. But you, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> One day after we'll read chats in order. I'm never read chat in order. I might glow. I do what I want. Hmm. 
<laughs> Arky, please don't do me like glow. I'm begging you. Fucking hell, Arsenal are getting beat 2 1. Are they? Yeah. Mate, I need to start putting money on when people are going to bottle it because I did I not call this the other day that they'd bottled lead. I fucking told you so. Arsenal are fucking. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. After right, I, I'll say something after this game. Right, let's see where they go from it. I think Arsenal are good enough to bring it back, and they're at home as well. I think that they're good enough to bring it back. I don't want to be treated like closed <laughs> up. Right. So. Hold on, I need to change my title. Call it, call it Ted. Ted Talk with Dan. Ted Talk with Dan and OG. Ted Talk. Yes. I've just put podcast with OG and oh, uh, with uh, Afro and OG. Yes, sir. We don't. We did have Dove Time Daddle, but he's too interested in playing. Uh, I want to play Warframe. I want to play Warframe. Couldn't have had an hour with us just chatting <laughs> shit. Talking nonsense, but obviously there's gonna there's a big elephant in the room. Oh. Me, me and Afro had a big conversation about this the other day, but we're not gonna bring that up just yet because I think that that's gonna be something that everyone <laughs> will be like, yeah, you know, getting involved in. You're gonna get the fucking hell down as if you brought that up already. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna talk about some unpopular opinions and i'm gonna Oops. throw one out there right now that it's, it's gaming related so it's gaming related but an unpopular opinion for me is i don't think mario's a good game mario What's the mario i think mario is overrated i'm just saying Oh, I think Luigi is bigger than Mario. Huh? Oh. Um, I know. I, I, oh, not in size, but like you know. <laughs> you I, how can you say? How can you say Mario's overrated? What kind of child did you? No, Mario is not overrated. Mario see, is a fucking golden game. See, I'm a Sonic type of guy. Sonic? I like Sonic the Hedgehog. I think Sonic the Hedgehog was better than Mario. But let's see, they were both that good that they even collabed the games together and made Sonic and Mario. You see, that's my, it's, they're both great in their own way, but. But I'm, I'm just, I, like I said, it's an unpopular opinion. I don't that's think, I just, I couldn't get into Mario, right? And the reason was, it, I, I couldn't handle when you used to run with Mario and it felt like you was fucking sliding on ice all the time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, like, I, I didn't like that feeling of like sliding around. I don't know what it was. Uh, I played Mario 64, and I'll be honest with you, I thought that was terrible as well. Wow, no, <laughs> that was fucking amazing. No, 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 Dan, no, we can't have this. <laughs> well, you've got, you've, got to, you've got to explain why you think it's better, why you think it's good. Mario and 64 you was keep a saying... fucking stellar game. I can't believe we're even having it. How have we started a podcast with this controversy, Dan? Hello. You meant to ease us into this. He just comes straight fucking in, doesn't give a damn, does he? I mean, Mario 64, yeah. exactly. Mario 64 <laughs> was a fucking great game. So good, they made it for the fucking Nintendo DS. It was that good. But no, Mario 64... It, uh, wait, it was yeah, very... Mario 64, but they made it for the Nintendo DS. It was fucking that good again, man. They remade the game because it was that so fucking it's... Now, Was it Mario, basically... si Mario DS? No, uh, fuck, I can't remember what it was called. But basically, it's because it was a complete different style of Mario, really, wasn't it, compared to... Because you think Mario started off as a two... 2D side scroll again, didn't it? Yeah. Right. And then, obviously, as games developed and they branched out, Mario 64, I, I could be wrong here, but I believe it was the first 3D open worlded Mario game that they did, which was freaking huge. Like, the Mario 64 game was massive. So, like, that sort of changed the Mario I, I franchise a little bit. I never completed. Now, I never completed Mario 64. I've never completed a Mario in general. I just couldn't get I couldn't get into him that much that 
it, that it didn't interest me enough to get into it. To be fair, now, that's understandable though, because it's a freaking huge game. Now, also, I didn't really rate Zelda, because Zelda Ocarina of Time, to me, didn't interest me. I didn't understand it. I didn't know what the hell was it was about, etc. Yeah. You know what I mean? When someone said Zelda, and back when I was young, it, said, it felt like I was about to play a little girl. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to play as a little girl when I was young. I wanted to play as, you know, a badass. You know, that's what I was all about. I wanted to play, like, the badass character. Uh, hey, so that's understandable again, but that's where... I'm, that's not... Do you know what? That's not even just you. That's where the massive... I'll say the massive confusion with Zelda came from, right? That... When you play Zelda, like exactly the same thing you said, everyone said, oh, it makes them think of like a little girl, you know, running around. When you play the Zelda games, you don't actually play Zelda. That's the thing that confuses a lot of people. You don't actually play it as Zelda. Zelda's a princess. You play as Link, who's a complete different character, who basically was the badass of the game. No, no, I <laughs> so, think, yeah, yeah, I think, I think Donkey Kong was better than Mario. Yes, <laughs> I, I I actually I've got to agree with someone in my chat. Someone said Mario. I I enjoyed Mario better. I enjoyed Donkey Kong better than Mario. But most of all, now this is going to be really hard to fucking grasp. But I actually think Rayman was better than all of them. I don't know what it was. I think Rayman on PlayStation One when I first played Rayman for the first time. And his mm. head would spin around and he could fly and he could, you know, it just felt dead smooth. Everything about it felt really smooth. I think Ray Rayman was a better game than both of them, like Mario's and and uh uh like like Donkey Kong and uh, yeah, I've got to admit that I think that they were better. Makes, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, it's, I say, I'll say each to their own. I mean, I, I personally enjoyed fucking. I enjoyed all of them. I thought, you know, all of them were fucking okay, were great, were great games. Like, no, no, I thought all of them were fucking great games. I really enjoyed all. I enjoyed all the games, but I would say, like, they all brought something very different. Um, they all brought something a bit different, like, to to gaming. Like Mario was. I don't know, like Mario, like Mario had that open world feel to it. Donkey Kong was like, like because they all started off as platformers, but Rayman stuck with that platformer feel. They've not deviated off that, whereas Mario massively deviated off it, didn't it? And uh, doesn't know how to get it up. Yeah, Mario now is basically most of them are, you know, That's they've got doesn't know how to get it up. 3D games, side scroller games, sport games, board games. You know what I mean? They, they've done, they've done the, they've done a lot. So. I think I can see where Dan's coming from, where he says, like, you know, he enjoyed Rayman more because I think story-wise, it's easier to get behind. If you can get behind the story of the game, yeah, you're that... going to enjoy it way more, way more. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Like the story was like them little things. You them things got kidnapped, and you had to go and get, fetch them. And it was like each mission was you had to you had to keep get you had to get these little things that had been stolen or kidnapped or whatever in Rayman. Now, with Mario, I think, like, all the stories were the same. That stupid fucking princess used to always get pissed and kidnapped by that stupid fucking, like, tortoise. Do you know what I mean? And I, I was like, what the fuck is this about, really? And he, and he used to always yeah. take her to a fucking castle. The same pissing castle. Do you know what I mean? Like... Does, does Mario not learn? Do you know what I mean? Does he not yeah, learn I mean... the bad head? Do you know what I mean? All right, I'll just take you back to my castle. Well, Mario what could that? have just skipped all the levels and just gone to the castle straight away after the first three games because that's where she was in the dungeon, probably. Dun -a -dun -a. Dun -a -dun -a. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I mean, yeah. Obviously, you know, that was the whole point of the game, though, isn't it? You got to get the princess back from the castle because. That's every single fantasy line and game. Oh, the princess has been kidnapped. Where is she? In the bad guy's castle. Best go get her again. Like, mate, come on, mate. Let, let's do something different now. Like, 
Just, yeah. 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 I am, I'm going to... 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 I'm how old is Mario, actually? That's a fucking point. Mario's an old-ass game. It's one of the first games that they did, isn't it? Well, Tetris is the first game, isn't it? Isn't Tetris? No, I mean, no, no, I mean, out of the old, the, no, Pong, Pong is older than Tetris. Oh, yeah, Pong, Pong was, but Tetris was, is the biggest game that's ever been created, isn't it, Tetris? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I think Tetris is the biggest game that's ever been created. It's the, it's, it's the most bought game on the planet. Tetris, I oh, think. Tetris is Tetris is insane, but I mean, now nah, when you talk about side scroller games or through you know side platformer games, Mario, Sonic, Mar- that's the Sonic. Actually, fuck you know, Sonic is one of them. The fuck am I on about? Sonic, Mario, Rayman, you know, those sort of games were what started off the. Well, Sonic started off on the Mega Drive, didn't it? And you've obviously had you had other Nintendos before then, like before. Yeah. So obviously, Mario was a lot sooner, a lot. And I think everyone was like, yeah, you know, it's Mario, you know. Uh, I remember, like, there was Paperboy and stuff like that, wasn't there? You could, like, we used to throw papers at the doors. That, You know what? I enjoyed that as a kid. I probably played that more than I played Mario, being a Paperboy. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I just never could get into Mario's. I don't know what it was. My missus likes Mario now on the Switch and stuff like that, and she likes it on the Wii. But yeah. to me, it... Like, I can play it, but it's just like, ah, uh, it, it, it winds me up more than anything. Cause I'm, it, I'm, it's... Yeah. No, I don't mean, I'm with you on that. Like, I've played Mario, but don't get me wrong. Like, it's not my, it's not my go-to game. It's not. It's not like, like I'll play it if it's there. I, do you know what I mean? But like, it's not even my, my go-to. Right. But now... if you give me like the OG Mario, you know, like the side, the side scroller Mario, yeah. it's still not. If I had to pick a platformer, Mario's still not the one I, that I would go to. Like, I would much rather, like you said, I would much rather actually play Sonic than I would play Mario. I'd rather play uh, Crash Bandicoot than play Mario. Like, so. Now, did, I didn't know. I didn't know this. Someone in my chat has just said Mario was based on a World War II Italian soldier. Now, I didn't know that because at the end of the day, I didn't really, I've not looked into the lore of of uh, Mario, but I always thought he was a fucking plumber. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, 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 I always yeah. thought it was a bit parnish. Do you know what I mean? No, he actually is a plumber. No, that's a, the character of Mario in the games is, yeah, he is, Mario is actually uh, a plumber. So Mario's a plumber. Oh, I Princess, we, I can we, see we, that your that. pipes have exploded again. <laughs> Let me come in. <laughs> my, my name's Mario. Also, back in the vehicle in the in the back there, my brother Luigi is ready to come in. <laughs> you know, you know, it, it's, it's well made for porn or something. It was definitely a dawn as a fucking laugh or something. Oh, Ray, someone, someone in my chat said Rayman was more like Crash Bandicoot. It's a 3D third person platformer, not a side scroller. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like Mario tried that, didn't it, with like the Mario 64, which, like I said, it gave a complete different style of gameplay to a game at that time because, like, you didn't really get games with multiple levels in multiple areas that you could just go in and out of. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, that was completely different at that time. And then, obviously, Crash Bandicoot did the sort of same thing. I mean, nowadays, Jesus, you'd expect to see that in the game, wouldn't you? Crash, like, Bandicoot. You know, more... Crash Bandicoot was amazing. Let's, let's... Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's not not to game. mention now, if you look, you look at a lot of mobile <clears throat> games now, they're all based on the... You know the ones where you like you, you slide to the left and you have to, you're running on, like, a, a track type of thing? That yeah. come from Crash Bandicoot, that, I'm sure it did. You Crash and Sonic... Well, Sonic, Sonic, the head, yeah, yeah, actually, Sonic, like, when it Sonic 3D when it started doing that, yeah, 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 yeah. so it's Sonic it's... 3D and then it like, and it, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot was definitely the big hitter when it comes to that, where you was looking at the character, the screen would start moving and you would move left and right, you would jump over things, and now a lot of mobile games are, are based on that, that premise and sell massively, don't they? So. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly, you know. But, I mean, the thing is, though, those sort of games now, like, that's what we grew up with as kids. Now, if you put that out into, if you put that out now in regards to saying, like, 
oh, here's this game, you know, blah, blah. I can tell you now, that game won't do as well anymore because it's not what people want anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the games that we had when we were younger, like, for me personally, one of my favourite games when I was when I was growing up was, I don't know if anyone else played it, the old school, like, 8-bit Prince of Persia game on the freaking PC on my Windows 98. Like, I don't to think me, I ever played that. I don't think I ever played I, it. That game was... I don't know if it's because of my age, right, but the game was solid. It was absolutely solid. Graphically, it is one of the worst graphical games you've probably ever seen in your life because it was like Windows 98, right? It was terrifying as fuck as a child, but honestly, one of the best played games I've ever played, and it's a Prince of Persia game, right? Absolutely phenomenal what, from game. From actual Ubisoft, or was it not Ubisoft then? It was. I think it was before Ubisoft. But honestly, if you look back at the game, it looks horrendous. It looks absolutely vile, right? However, it plays as one of the best games I've I've generally ever played. And I've spoken to other people who played it, and they've said the same thing. They've said that game was phenomenal from start to finish to play, and they've used that style of the game. To this day, games are still like some indie games still use that style of gameplay because it works and it really, really works. But not many people have played it, and the fact is, it's one of the first Prince of Persia games that was made. And I mean, people know the Prince of Persia franchise. People don't even know that the game exists because yeah. it's not the style that they're used to. Now, obviously, we've spoke about Mario, and we spoke about you know the old school games i'm going to go a bit further on i'm going to obviously keep with the unpopular opinion now this is where og might be able to get involved because i think og's just he just doesn't know what's going on with when he's talking about mario he's only spoke but uh no, i don't I, I just i just like be quiet until i know when to like talk right. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna say two probably the biggest stealth games on the market and i and i love them both right i love them both uh metal gear solid obviously with solid snake and we've got splinter cell with sam fisher i think sam fisher would beat solid snake what's your take on that afro well, I think it'd be, it'd be an interesting fight to see. Very interesting fight to see. Um, that someone said Ubisoft needs to bring it back. <laughs> what, Split Cell? Um, yeah, Split Cell needs to come back. I agree. Could not agree with more. I actually think he would do, you know, because, I mean, after playing all the Metal Gears and down the emote, like, all the Split Cells, he just, he had a better, I, I feel like he was a better... It was, it was just a better, it was a better agent, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just he, a, better, a, better just a better, a better, a better tactician. I thought, you know, he had, he, he, he was all about the stealth. Do you know what I mean? His missions were all, yeah. Obviously, you know, Solid Snake used to go in there and he used to obviously hide and he used to get into all the nuts and crannies of, you know, you had to obviously put your back against the walls, you know, crack people's necks and stuff like that. Yeah, um, and hide them, hide them in the toilets. Put yeah, them in yeah. The cubicle. Yeah, I put them in the uh, locker. But then, obviously, it would go a bit weird, wouldn't it? And then it'd start being, like, kind of loud. He'd get caught, and it'd go loud. And yeah. you'd end <laughs> up fighting a fucking big mechanical boss and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not I'm not denying the games are incredible. Like, every single one I've played from Metal Gear, you know, from, from the uh, PlayStation 1, that's when I started playing. I never played them on, you know, the previous consoles. Uh but from PlayStation 1 all the way up until when it, like until Metal Gear Solid, was it 4, 5 come out? Phantom yeah. Pain, the Phantom Pain one. Uh, yeah. I, you know, that day were, they were incredible. But I do think Sam Fisher is definitely a better tactician when it comes to it. I think it's Tom Clancy though, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tom Clancy. Yeah. 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 Like, no, no, I mean, Tom Clancy is, when it comes down to stuff like stuff like that they make yeah i think when it comes to stuff like stealth stealth it's like I, I i i don't do stealth in games i can't i just i get so sick and tired of stealth like if i play like you know like assassin's creed it's like here's a stealth mission i'm like nah man let me just run through this 
killing nah, them that way. Oh, when, it's, oh, when, it's, when, it's, no, when it's a Splinter Cell game, it's completely different. The way that Tom Clancy actually does stealth yeah. is unreal. It is really, really good. And like my like Arkin said in my chat, that not only was Splinter Cell amazing, I actually think they do need to bring it back because at this time with the yeah, yeah, games out, uh, I think it will... It'll bring back. I don't want to say it'll bring back an era of game, but I think it'll bring back a nice little. It'll bring back a, 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 a nice little like change, like something fresh back to gaming again. When it's that working, you know, we haven't seen buy another one and do it. a long while. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely Splinter Cell needs to come back. I think a new I one. I think uh, Hideo Kojima. You know, I think he needs to buy the rights for his fucking. You know, if he's, that's his, that's his, isn't it, really? You know what I mean? Metal Gear Solid was his, and he needs to get that, needs to get that back. Uh, but saying that, I think what he's doing with Death Stranding, and this is probably another unpopular opinion, Death Stranding is probably one of the best games I've ever played, if you put your time and effort into it. Now, OG, you've played Death Stranding, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. OG. Yes, lad. You played, have you played Death Stranding? You have, haven't you? Yeah, I played Death Stranding. Yeah, what a beautiful game. Yeah. Like, the graphics on that game is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I like that. David like, just said. Oh, sorry, OG, what are you saying? It's like a delivery, delivery game, isn't it? It's like a delivery game, but... Uh, like if if it's it's one of them games, it doesn't hold your hand. So the basic the base of it, yeah, is delivering something from one section to another section. But there is a lot of things where you would go in there and you would go to certain locations and do stealth. So you would stealth into a location, you would stealth to do an, another part of the location, a stealth to do this part of the location. But it doesn't tell you about them things. It would never tell you about them, but they can happen. Uh, and that's what's good about that game because it's not holding your hand to tell you this is what you need. Like, that, like it's not a secondary thing or anything like that. It actually helps you build things better. It's dead hard to explain. It's such a complicated game to explain that. Uh, but it is one of my favorite games. So I've not played Death Stranding. I've seen my old housemate play it. I've watched you stream it, Dan. I've seen OG play it. Fuck knows when he decided to play it. And <laughs> me, me, honestly, it's not my... It's I can't even say it. So it's not, not my type of game. It's a game that I would play if I had it, right? But I was very happy to sit back and watch somebody else play the game and just sort of take it in. Because I think there's some games as a viewer you can really enjoy more as watching people do that. And Death Stranding, def I mean, from what I saw from Death Stranding and people playing and the music and everything about it, it generally felt like, to me, like I was watching a film. It, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't feel like I was watching a game because the music had kicked into certain parts. Like, you'd have stuff jumping out at you. There were parts where I was like, holy fuck, what is happening here? Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like... It looks like a real good game, but I think from the perspective of that, I don't think there's many games like that, like Death Stranding, which is one of the reasons why I think it actually really sets itself out. Yeah. I, I Like I said, it, I think it's, it's, one, it's one of my favourite games. I've got to say it is definitely one of uh, my favourite favorite, favorite games. Yeah, like, I love games. I mean, I love a good story game. I love a good story game. Um, Death Stranding is one that I would play, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Definitely should. Eventually. Have that, that's definitely yeah. something that you should. Now, obviously, I've come up with the unpopular opinions. Do any of you guys have an unpopular opinion? <laughs> unpopular... My, my unpopular opinion is that, right? And... This so this is my unpopular opinion. Battle Royale games, right, are dying out, except for Fortnite. That's my that's my unpopular opinion. Fortnite's amazing. 
you know, that's a damn lie that you say that. I can say that. You can't say that because the shit you give me about playing Fortnite is unbelievable. My reason for saying this is, right, that in every single Battle Royale game that I have seen in regards to people playing, I cannot count how many people complain about issues with the game, sound, visuals, hackers, cheaters, d- d- whatever, right? Where And, like, all the issues coming out with the game, oh, it's paid to win, it's this, it's that, wh- whatever. Fortnite is a free game, and whatever they're doing with the game right now is absolutely just taking that market by storm. Ooh, like, what are we the, talking about Fortnite? Yeah, because their numbers right now are just continuously climbing. And literally, what, uh, a couple of months ago, they've just done an update where they've gone onto the, like, the new Unreal Engine. There's absolutely no reason for them to be on Unreal Engine at all with the graphics of the game, but they are. And it's like, Battle Royale games, for me personally, they're dying. Because think about how many people started on, you know, H1Z1, PUBG, uh, you've got COD, you know, you've got all these games. And right now, the only two that you... Like, they're still there, but the only two that you really hear about are COD and Fortnite. Yeah. All I, I hear for COD is complaints. No word of light. All I hear from people who play COD is complaint, 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 complaint about COD, COD is wanky. The, COD is, the, and, and, you, I, and I'll say right now, COD has been the worst. The, Call of Duty Warzone, like, let me just get. Call of Duty Warzone is the yeah. worst battle royale that I've that I've played by a AAA developer. No, I'm not. I'm not even going to go into the fucking the, the likes of what Ubisoft brought out when they brought out that cyber one. That that doesn't even fucking count. That's not even worth mentioning. I'm talking about from a big pub, uh, like a like Activision, multi-billion pound company. Warzone is easily the worst battle royale out. Easily. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like I, all the issues that they complain about. Um, it's not like the unfixable issues. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, one of the things, like, I'll, as an example, Dan, I'll use, I'll use, you've said it, I've heard, do you know what, I've heard every single Warzone streamer, every single one of them say the same thing, that the, the, the audio in Warzone's broken, right, it doesn't work, right, all of you, all of them said it. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing, right? that thing, what you're talking about. How, as a AAA game, or as a big company, is this, is this issue not been addressed, right? Yeah. It's, it's it's ridiculous now Fortnite, right? Granted, it's not a. Tr- I mean, I don't know if people view it, it as a triple off A game Fortnite for a little bit, didn't it? It died off with Warzone, you know and everyone. It died off, yeah. And then and then what they did is they thought, you know what, we want our customers back. How are we gonna do this? First and foremost, what 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 Fortnite don't do is they don't take away playlists from you. So they'll make a playlist mm-hmm. and they'll fucking keep a playlist there for you. So you can go back to it and play it whenever you want. Solos, duos, trios, quads. They're yeah. consistently there all the time. They don't get taken away, right? And then, obviously, they thought, right, we need to make it fresh. What we're going to do is, a lot of people don't want the building aspects in the game no more. We're going to mm-hmm. keep the destructibility of the buildings. But what we'll do is we'll take away the building aspect. When that happened, I think that was one of the best moves they could possibly ever done, ever do. And I think that's when it started to boom again. Once that happened, it started to like go the next level. And then they they didn't just stop there. They thought, you know what? We want to keep this going. What what's the next thing we can do? Oh right, what we'll do is we'll change over from Unreal Four Engine to Unreal Five Engine, and yeah. then give you the creative mode where you can create your own game with inside our game. And look at the stuff that I've some of the stuff that I've seen that game do is fantastic. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely yeah. unreal, and See? you can't you can't question their their integrity as a company to do right by their community, and that's yeah. that's what I like about Fortnite. And do you know what I mean? It, it, it's like I I, I I I wish that more people played it and it was back popular again on the streaming side of things, but. Oh. Yeah. Arkin in my chat said that with Fortnite, like it's a cross, it's it's a cross pop culture buying game versus COD, which is just completely military focused. Now, mm. I don't. A lot of your community won't know this about me, right? That I am an 
massive anime fan. I'm a massive, massive, massive anime fan. Now, I have no issue with anime branching out into different avenues or whatever, right? Fortnite has an aim. Fortnite has started taking anime skins and putting them in the game, right? It's fantastic because it's bringing more people to the anime world, right? Yeah. I have no problem with that. I had, I didn't necessarily have an issue with when COD said they're doing an Attack on Titan collaboration. Didn't really have an issue with that. But, but, did it really but to me, it there? made. But to me, it made no, It made zero sense why they did it. Right. Yeah, it was the same with the Godzilla vs. Kong thing. Like, the film came out a year... The, year the, 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 the film came out a year before that 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 update happened. And then they thought, yeah. you know what? What we'll do is we'll bring out an update with Godzilla and Kong. And you're like, okay, but why? <laughs> why now? Why not two weeks after the film was released where it was popular and people had an interest in it. No one give a shit and it was probably one of the worst fucking ad adaptions to a fucking watch card. You had, you had Kong jumping around on the map and then you had fucking Godzilla in the background as a fucking JPEG fucking, you know, just stuck on there, like doing his little laser beam across the map. And you think this with, is the thing shit. With Cobb, the thing with Cobb that got me though is like, if you're going to collaborate with anything, right? At least make it relevant to your game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've made a boots on the ground army game, right? That's fine. That makes sense. Oh, the thing, someone's gone off. Hey, yo, Glow, what's good, yo? Like, it makes, it makes sense that you've got boots on the ground army game. That's completely sensible. That completely makes sense, right? You're going to do a collaboration with anything, right? That's fine. Do your collaboration. Kong versus Godzilla. What the fuck has that got to do with the game that you've made? Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. What, because... Nothing close to it, right? You've got a battle royale, right? You've got the dance, you know, you've got rebirth where people, you know, you can buy yourself back or whatever, right? Someone said this to me once in, a, in, one, in one of our streams was like, do you play COD? Do you play the dance? I said, I don't play that shit. It makes no sense to me. And someone said to me, it'd be really cool if they took that concept and made a Hunger Games game. I thought to myself, it's actually a pretty good idea, is that? Because technically it's quite similar. Do you know what I mean? You land in one place, last man standing, fair enough. That makes sense. Then they turn around and they do, oh, we're doing an Attack on Titan collab. Why? Yeah. yeah it... You don't have the movement from that anime. You don't have the weapons from that anime. You put your skin in and, dear God, That's that... that skin looked fucking horrible. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. That not, 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 <laughs> like, I'm not just saying this, like, but, you know, I'm a massive fan of COD. I have been since, you know... The very first cards i'm not talking about cod 4 you know i'm talking about call of duty you know when it was on i think it was like playstation 2 it, or it something used to be one of the best, it used to be one split, of the best games out there you could split screen with your friends and stuff like that world war 2 type era stuff and then i remember the, i think it was cod 2 where you jumped off and you was doing the normandy uh you know the the onto the onto the beachfront and you, oh man i, I remember I, I remember that game so well because it was just such a great game but then, oh, yeah, it was. And then, but like Warzone, like Blackout, like Blackout, I thought, yes, this is their start of, of a fantastic battle royale. All this needs to do now is go free to play, update it a little bit, make it more modernized, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a good battle royale on our hands. And then I thought, well, you know, when Warzone came out, I thought, let's see what this is about. And, I think the loadout situation with Warzone has been the worst decision they could ever do to a battle royale. It doesn't make it a battle royale when it's like that. It makes it just a massive mm -hmm. multiplayer. And I've said this from day one. When you're respawning back in and you can get your guys to respawn you back in, it does become like absolutely it's not like it's not like it takes you like on Fortnite. <laughs> To revive somebody back in, I think it like takes you twenty seconds or something like that. You have to stand close to the thing to spawn them back in. But yeah. to just go up to a buy station and quickly buy your guy back in, instantaneously. Oh man, it it, it pisses me off, man. It really you know everything about it is fucking stupid and half. No, it's not even. 
it's not going to buy it back in. Like, let people let them buy it back in like really quickly, because like in the middle of a fight, it can be like a st- strategic thing depending on how you play. It. For me, what really gets me on COD is the entire loadout system. To to me, for, to take like, take it out, take it out completely. I can't. I generally can't I agree, think of another yeah. battle royale game right that lets you have your own personal loadout in the game because. And you watch people and they've got specific load up. Like, I don't play the game, right? So if I went in and I went to play COD now and I, I made a load out, I can tell you now I would have recoil out my uh-huh. ass. My gun would be all over the place because I don't know what to put on it. If I was to play against you, OG, uh, uh, fucking average dad, Matt Laugh, all them people who play COD, they're going to have guns with no recoil, right? Because uh, they know how, it's not they know even, how it's to not, it's they not know about how to the build recoil. Guns. It's not about the recoil because there's not there's there's like I I don't think there's that much recoil in any of the guns. It's not about no, the recoil. But, it's what the stre- It's it's what the metal weapon is. And it's stupid. Yeah. It's but stupid. The thing is though, if so, all of that like you know what guns are good. You know what guns are you know like what like what snipers do do, do this. What guns do this. What guns you know what the meta is right. If I go say play Fortnite. Yeah. Football, like, let's say, right, right now in Fortnite, right, one of the biggest bets is shotguns, right? Uh, hang on, is... I don't want to cut you off, uh, but Soldman wants to jump in on this, so I'm going to invite Soldman, all right, as well? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. He wants yeah. to shit on COD. <laughs> Phil... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, right, so for, for Fortnite, right, one of the biggest bets in Fortnite is shotguns. Yeah, right now. If, you're, if you play, right, if you play Fortnite, so me, I don't use shotguns in Fortnite, right? I know it's in there, but I don't use them, right? I'm at a disadvantage because I choose not to use the shotgun. It's not because I don't have a loadout with a shotgun. I just haven't picked up a shotgun during the game. You come across them all the time. Everybody is at the same advantage because all the weapons are the exact same. You pick up yeah. that weapon off the ground. That's it. It's, it's down to you what you want to do. Unless you it's obviously uh, unless it's it. blue, you know, it, it blue, purple, gold. You well, know what I mean? So, does, right? does, they do have slight well, thing, advantages. Though. We, yeah, in, in that regard. But the thing is, though, you're also given the option that if you don't find... Say, for example, right, we're running around the game, you've got a gold shotgun, and I've got a blue shotgun. If I don't find a gold shotgun, I have the opportunity to upgrade the one that I'm carrying to that gold level. Yeah. So that I can match it. So, But the thing is, even if you've got a gold shotgun, I can still beat you with a blue one. I can still beat you with a normal one. But it's the same... Because we're using the same shotgun. If I go into COD... Right. If I'm using a shotgun, ten out of ten, I'm going to run into a room and there's some knobhead sat behind the fucking door with a fire breath shotgun burning me while while doing the shotgun damage. Yeah, and it, it's oh, not. I haven't unlocked that, so why the fuck am I? Why is he able to use it? And I fucking and, can. And the unlock <laughs> system now is just fucking ridiculous. So it's like you want you want them bullets that you're talking about, which has fire. You've probably got to fucking unlock, you know, five, six, seven other weapons to get them bullets. And it's like, hang on a minute. I don't want to fucking do that. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't have a disadvantage like that. And this is why I always say, uh, I always used to say, Call of Duty is pay to win, because if you're given an advantage where, uh, like Warzone's a free to play game, but if I've bought Modern Warfare Two, the, the the new one, and I was able to rank my gu- guns up. Uh, faster than any anybody else, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Because I'm playing the multiplayer, then I'm at a fucking advantage there. Not to mention that some, some, uh, and I'll go back to this. Some, uh, what they call them, skins give you a massive advantage when you used to sit in fucking shadows. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could. Like yeah, yeah, like the rose skin at, the, at one point. The only way you could get rose skin is if you was fuck if you bought it. I was designed uh, to be paid to win anyway. Yeah, because it's free game. So how how do you think they're going to get the revenue in? Yeah. No, no, because no. That, that, no, but that's no, because obviously you, you, Fortnite's a free to play game, and how you're going to get the revenue in is because when they bring skin. out skins, but their skins don't give you an advantage, mate. Their no. skins you, I've, because the game is so well well made you know Mm -hmm. you can see people in fucking shadows you can see people it's because the fucking game is 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 caters for old shitty generation of consoles then you can't you're not you're not it's never gonna fucking get better and that's the thing with it 
What's that new DMZ thing? Is... That new DMZ skin, if anyone knows in the chat. Does anyone know about that new DMZ? I don't, I don't, I've not really watched card, like looked into it, but I know that it's pay to win. You can get uh, certain items that would take you a bit of time to get when you're in, when you're playing DMZ. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, hang on a minute, you know, you're paying for a skin again that gives you all these items. Yeah, like, that's the thing, it's freaking ridiculous. Like, I can imagine that's just said, like, with my reasoning for what I've said, do I like Apex? Honestly, I played Apex when it first came out, right? And I generally thought the concept of that game was actually really, really good. Only reason I stopped playing Apex is I found out I'm shit at that game. Like, Apex I am so is hard, bad man. at Apex. Apex it's is fucking, hard. So, Apex, for me, is not a solo game, right? If you can play Apex solo, just either you're a fucking demon or something wrong with you. It's one of the fucking other, right? And people who play Apex are just, they're built different, right? They're just built different yeah. for Apex. So I won't shit on the game because it's a very, I think it's a very well-made game. And it's very, from everything I've seen, the game is actually, it seems quite balanced. Oh, gee, can you uh, invite Soldin? Soldin, Cod, man. Cod Cod yeah. is the most unbalanced game I've ever seen. And right. the fact that so many people play it, and I generally, I can't, I don't see people enjoying Warzone anymore. Like, yeah, granted, they enjoyed it when it first came out. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. when it first came out, it was, a fresh, it, was a, it was a fresh new thing. Now, I don't see anyone enjoying it. I really don't. Yeah, so like, like someone's just put in my chat now. Early Warzone seasons, the battle, the battle pass is paid to was paid to win. I think I still think what's all this bullshit that you have to buy the battle pass to get the weapons now? What's this? I'm sure I fucking just bought a fucking eighty pound game, you know, just before <laughs> Christmas, and I have to buy battle passes to get new weapons. Are you taking the fucking piss? It, like, yeah. you know, the, like. You know that that shouldn't be if that shouldn't even be a thing. If 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 a if a weapon gets put into a game, then it should be instantaneously, you know, given to them people. Like I remember when I used to play Ghost Recon and Advanced Warfighter, right? If I didn't if I didn't buy the DLC, I couldn't get into the games that certain people were playing. It wouldn't allow me to because it would say this 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 server here now is using DLC you don't have. So you would buy it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And to me, that that's fine because it's not it's not put it's, it wouldn't put me in there with people that have got you know weapons that I didn't have. Do you know what I mean? It, it was one of them things, but this whole this whole thing where it, it, I feel like it forces you to buy the DLC now, stuff like that. Well, it's like so. For example, right with Fortnite, with Fortnite, for example, right the every now and again they rotate the weapons, so. Like, there'll be a specific weapon, and they'll be like, right, we're taking this weapon out for now. We're not taking it, like, out of the game. We're sticking it in the vault, so no no one can use this weapon. It's fucking... It's in the vault. You, that's it for fuck knows how long. You play COD, and I remember back when... Fucking, a couple of years ago now or so, when, well, when the game first came out, every fucker was running the MAC-10 because it just burnt through your shield. It just fucked you up, right? The MAC-10 just fucking ribs you. And then it got to a point where I'll literally people were like, oh, does anyone have an account that's got a Mac 10 on it? Because it just fucking rinses. People were like, oh no, you know, we can't use the Mac 10 anymore. Yeah, everyone who had the Mac 10 can still use the Mac 10. Where, where's how's that fair? Yeah. Where's the Mac 10? Yeah, like you know what I mean? Like People used to be able to use Mac 10. I don't know if you can still use it now. That's down for you. Oh, you right, yeah. still your G to tell me because you you guys still, I mean, you still play the game every now and again, but like, I stopped playing because I just got sick and tired of the bullshit of the game. I was like, this is fucking what, stupid. What was that that uh, that Mac 10 that come out with Blackout, uh, Black Ops? Now when it come out and it, like the Mac 10, right, had a shitty iron sight. It was dead fat, dead thick, right? And then they brought out a Mac 10 and if, I'm sure you had to buy, you had to own the game or you had to own the season pass and it would give you a Mac 10 that had a really thin iron sight, which made the weapon so much easier to use. And everyone 
like who had the fucking battle pass ended up with that watch card and if you didn't complete the battle pass or you didn't get yeah you had to complete the battle pass you didn't complete it you wouldn't end up with that mac 10 and it was like hang on a fucking minute that's such a shitty uh a shitty thing to do to people like oh yeah we've made the mac 10 better but the way we made the way that we've made it better is we put it in a battle pass so you have to complete the battle pass and then you know, put a, a shitload of fucking hours into the game to then get this battle pass. And you're like, wow, you know, you fucking dirty bastards. Give everyone the same advice. Like, give everyone the same. I, 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 that's why I decided to go off Call of Duty. I think, like, when they started to make it, like, very, very obvious that it was paid to win, it started to piss me off really bad. But, like everyone says to me it's not paid to win it's not paid to win and then uh sold i think you've just said that that new uh the new dmc oh, the new operator in dmz yeah, yeah yeah and it gives you a fucking uav <laughs> off the start that's that's a fucking joke in it what <laughs> it does what yeah you get a uav straight off the rip as soon as you spawn in you can well you could call in a uav but they've changed it that you have to wait one minute now before you can call in uavs that's fucking yeah. stupid because by the time you've landed, you've had, that's that's a minute. Mm. Well, DMZ just spawns well, on the floor, isn't it? You don't land in, right? You just spawn straight in. Also, literally, you're running. By the time you've grabbed the gun, you've got your UAV ready to go. But remember, there's, there's, there's not there's <laughs> how many people is in DMZ all at once. I think it's only like fucking twenty, isn't it? Something like that, twenty-four. Um... So if you're spread okay. out along the map with twenty-four <laughs> people, you're never going to come across somebody within the first minute, anyway. It's just it, it stupid, is that? It's very rare that I, when I played that DMZ, it's very rare that I come across anyone within the first minute. The only people that I come across in the first minute was obviously NPC players. Like, so that 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 is a fucking joke as well. Nah, that, to me, that game's just that is fucking done. I, I think it's it, it, it's either time for them to go back to their roots go back to what they're originally doing and try restart reboot the franchise or just call it just call it a day it's one of it's one of the two now isn't it i i'll tell you how do you make that game better right stop catering for the fucking last gen consoles fuck them clean off they're, they're out of it next gen it needs to go next gen so then you can start updating it correctly because i know what will be happening right they'll update it for the the next gen consoles right and because it's all cross-platform next gen consoles may have the the technology the you know the software in the in the system to be able to handle what they've just updated but they can't do it like that because if they do it like that they'll fuck up everybody who's on ps4 and an xbox the old xbox and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll have an effect on them somewhere along the line there so they won't do it and so what they do is they'll do an update for the ps4 where obviously yeah that it, it probably might have an effect on you know the the, the 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 new gen and it's just it's just it's just in a place of fucking limbo and shit right now warzone and it just needs to get out of it it just needs to go like when i i thought when i heard about warzone 2 i thought it was going next gen only and i thought this game could actually be really good but then they thought no we'll go back on that and we'll we'll make it for ps4 and xbox and you'll be able to play against people that are you know on next gen consoles and it's like you're fucking idiots man because that means that you're never going to be able to update the graphics on the game you're never going to be able to update it and make it fucking fresh because you're going to have to cater for the old gen consoles and i'm sorry to anybody who's in the chats right now and you're struggling to buy next gen consoles but fucking tough luck we're 10 years in we're 10 years in into a new a new in, into the fucking into that platform you need to start obviously saving up and then getting yourself the next gen consoles it's as simple as that can't worst keep cases case. though it, worst cases though it's because the game companies keep making like you you remember when like for the, the ps4 come out and it was a couple of years in sony turned around and went right fuck it that's it ps3 games we're fucking done with them we're making no more so that's it like all games now will just be ps4 games only and they just discontinued yeah. all ps3 games and they're like boom it's it, sucking dumb. Well, haven't, now, haven't they done that with PS4 now? They've actually said that they're not they're not making no more no, PS4s. No, 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 no. They're still making PS4 games, and that's the thing, right? There's no issue with them making PS4 games. 
But they need to make, if they're going to make the PS4 games, it needs to be games where it doesn't rely on updates. It needs to be games that don't rely on, you know, the big, those big sort of changes. Like, look at, right, big one, the biggest one right now, look at Cyberpunk. Yeah. Cyberpunk come out, right? And every single person knew when Cyberpunk was coming out, right? That game was supposed to be a next gen game. You could tell from the graphics, you could tell from the expo, when they show Cyberpunk for the very first time, every single person must have thought, yes, that PS5. is a game for the new yes. Xbox, uh, PS5 the new, PS, and the new Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox, and PCs. That's next when time. they said it's going to be PS4 and Xbox, you thought, fair enough. First thing out the gate, the game PC doesn't fucking RTX, work. Straight uh, out the gate. The game cards. on all gen consoles doesn't work. And you just thought, no matter the fuck you release it. Yeah. But what point? Like, game developers now do not care. It's a case of, it's just a money grab now. It's just, how quick can we get this game out to a point where we're going to get the money? Cobb's done it, and other developers do it now. It's just, well, get the I game out, Hogwarts let's make the money, right. let's go. Hogwarts has did it, done it right, I think. Hogwarts brought it out for next gen. They said that the next gen, the next gen version is coming out in February, or whenever it comes out. And they fucking brought it out worked absolutely perfectly fine it had a bit of problems on pc not not many though not many but it was absolutely fucking fantastic uh really great game fully enjoyed it all the way through and yeah. he said to everybody right if you want hogwarts on your next on on, on previous gen you're gonna have to wait until what is it they're still waiting on it now because i don't it's... I... wait no shit it should be out now it should have just, it should have just come out well, I know it's meant to be coming out soon, isn't it? It's, if, it's, if it's not like I believe, I believe it was yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. It was supposed to have come out. Well, that's what I mean. So it was one of them. They told you that you know, if you're on old gen, you're gonna have to wait because they needed to make sure that you could run on it. And that, that, that's the that's the thing that they should have done with Cyberpunk, in all honesty. And 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 then determined if it was going to be able to run because last last ta- last. The thing what I've seen mostly now with Cyberpunk, and I've obviously been playing it, you know, off stream recently, it's it's fucking unbelievable now. Like on another level of fucking amazing. Like like it's one of my favourite games I've ever played. Um, Be- did you did you go past the creating character part? Have we gone past it? No, he was too busy looking at the titties. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was just kind of I wasn't. I, I've, I've, been, I've just been flicking. I've, just been, I've, I've been flicking his willy fucking back and forward. You know. Yeah. Because it, it, it fucking flaps around and it fucking, I'm like, wow. I've that's never that's seen that. That's a shame there's no micro penis size, though. <laughs> yeah. Look, I've just been told Hogwarts isn't even out for, like, for, the, for the last gen consoles yet. They've still got till May the 5th until it's out. All oh, right. Wow. What? It's a fat game though, that Hogwarts. You get loads of hours in that as well. You just get lost. It's a in fucking, it, it's a fucking huge game. It's yeah, massive. It's massive yeah. I, well, I, I think it's a great game when you're inside Hogwarts itself, right? I think it because and then Hogsmeade and Hogwarts is fantastic. I think what they've done with them two areas is great. I do think it does get a little bit repetitive when you go out. I mean, you, you're in an open world. Yeah. Like everything just, I don't know, looks the same. Like it just doesn't. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm the same. I think Hogwarts looks amazing. I think Hogsmeade looks amazing, but everything else, like round about it, just looks a bit shit. And, like plays a bit shit. I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like what 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 the one them, them Merlin tasks they can get fucking repetitive as shit. It's the same it's Merlin tasks every five times or something. Well, I think it's one of them ones, though, isn't it? It's like you they they have to fill they have to fill the rest of the game with something to you know and. It's all well, obviously, like, you know, it's, it is all well and good that they did that. But, yeah, like you said, it gets a bit repetitive, it gets a bit boring. But I think it gets to a point, it becomes difficult to figure out, like, you don't want to, it's one of those, you don't want to put too much into the game, but at the same time, you don't want to put too little into the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. did you ever play, um... Fucking Batman's, though. Like, you know, the Batman, like, Batman fucking Arkham City and, you know, Arkham Knight, they were yeah. amazing because, like... The Riddler, obviously, every every single one has had the Riddler challenges, right? And every single one of them Riddler challenges was different. And I mean, completely different from any of the others. Some of them were really easy. Some of them were quite difficult to even fucking figure out. 
and that was the that was the thing it, it consistently had something new all the time where with that hogwarts it was like the merlin challenges were the same 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 like three things right like, yeah, like roll the balls yeah. into the into the circle or yeah yeah, yeah there was this all repetitive shit yeah it was just all yeah, yeah. uh what else like, was once there? you've done it once you're like i really don't want to like do that again like yeah <laughs> i don't want to go through and do the exact same thing again what like why you should have made what you should have done with them is made them difficult to find and i think that's yeah that's what yeah. made, made it better make them difficult to find and when, when you do find them it's not an easy task to do make them hard to do but yeah it was a uh, very repetitive line and i got fucking well pushed off of it and bored of it yeah because you, you you did you definitely got to a point where you'd land at the merlin challenge and instantly be like right where the fuck's the ball where's where's, where's it going boom done right, let me let me just fuck off to the next one do you know what i mean well and, and like the the flying on the fucking the, the bird and stuff like whatever it was the griffin you know i think that was a waste of time as well and then the the allowed you to ride on the back of that thing and i don't i was just like what is the point of this really like my broom does everything but better you know what i mean it was one of them things i could just fly on my broom and i could go much faster than the griffin and it was just like like yeah some, some of the shit was just a bit fucking like just irrelevant don't get me wrong the one thing what i did find good was in hogwarts and then when you went to the ch is it uh not chamber of secrets the your little room that you had room of oh, requirement. Room requirement yeah i yeah. thought what they did with that was incredible mm -hmm. like that was its own little game and it's in itself that mm. to be fair breeding uh, your pets and the growing growing the, like the plants and stuff was pretty yeah, good yeah like it was a bit like fucking pokemon going after them pets like you had to catch them and stuff like that but uh Gotta catch him all. Had to catch him all. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, to be fair though, if that's the way that I, I don't want to say if that's the way the games are going because it's probably fucking not like at all the way the games are going. But I mean, that's what you'd expect from a it's sort of what you expect from story games. Like a game that's heavily influenced on the story of the game, and you know your own sort of single player playthrough. Now, for me, through Hogwarts, if they made it. I don't want to say multiplayer, but if they add a co-op element to the game, you know, I think it'll bring a bit more flair to it, a little bit more, stuff like, something else to it. But you can't, like, I don't know. I think we've lost that. I generally think we've lost that era of, I want to say co-op games, because now everything is just straight competitive, in it? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's either a case of fight against everybody or play on your own. There's no... There's no in between anymore. Yeah. Just want to say Which... that Arsenal getting beat three one. Fuck you, hell. <laughs> but um, they were they were two 0 didn't right? Yeah, they were two 0 down, and it went to two one, and now the three one. Sixty six minutes. Ah, damn it. But I'm gonna say right now, like, uh, hang on a minute. So obviously, Soul Man's jumped, and let's see if Soul Man's got an unpopular opinion. You, well, I, I typed it in your chat, right? I typed it in your chat. I think GTA games are shit. Oh, fuck I don't you. think yeah. they're, I don't think they're Ooh. as good as everybody makes them out to be. Are you on about RP or GTA itself? Just GTA itself. Oh, okay. So that's a different level then, isn't it? Now, this, this is going to be... I didn't like the GTAs when they were over the top. If you remember, oh, no. them. see, I, I loved, I like GTA oh. One and stuff, like running down the Harry Krishnas and that. That was amazing. See, I'm gonna really say something else. Frenzy and that. See, I'm gonna say something else. Exactly. That's gonna piss off like ninety percent of the fucking population. I think Vice City was shit. Oh my god. No, I totally I, agree. I, I fucking hated Vice City. Missions. I oh. hated Vice City. I couldn't stand the game at all. I think it was absolutely appalling. I just like, think the games are medical at best, man. I don't, I don't think they're that, they're that good. Like, I don't know how anybody like thinks that like fucking best things since sliced bread. I, like, I, I, I don't like a couple of hours of driving about. I, get, I just get bored. Don't get me wrong. Like the, the the soundtracks for the games decent, but I just oh, I the soundtracks are awesome. City. But yeah, and the bet to me honestly now, right? The best thing to come out of GTA is GTA is the RPC. It really oh, is. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, if it, if it didn't have the RPC, I don't think it'd be very active. Like as as active as it is, but 
I do think I, I think five was you know obviously it, it, it worth changing from different character for different character. I really like that idea. Uh, you know, it brought it had Grove Street in it and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it, it reminisced from the San Andreas, uh, you know, feeling, but. I'll be honest with you, so I've got, I kind of agree. Like, I, I I didn't find them gripping to... I don't remember what happened in Vice City. I don't remember what happened in 4. But I do remember what happened in, obviously, 5. Because I, I, I did enjoy 5. But I do think out of Rockstar games, the best Rockstar games are, are Red Dead Redemption. 100%. 100% Red Dead. Oh no, I hated Red Dead too. I played it for like an hour and just turned it off and never went back to it. What, and the oh, second I one, I, what, the second once one, I got, first one. Oh. the second one. Once, it, once yeah. I got to like, so I got to the camp, right? And I went to like to the first town, went back and then they were like, oh, we're hungry. You need to go collect this food. I was like, fuck off. I'm, I'm no. <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? I, mean, I, I just didn't want to go on and... I, I loved, so the first Red Dead yeah, Redemption Red Dead game, is amazing. I fucking love that. I could not put the first Red Dead, the first Red Dead game down. I could not put it down. Red Dead 2, I literally got, I played it for about three hours. I was like, all right, this game's all right. Got to the next day. I loaded it up. Took one look at the end and went, Fuck this game, man! I bought the guy. It came with a guide and everything. I traded the game in. I said I can't be asked. It was like oh, I've completely read that. I was like, how the fuck it's gone? I'm sick and tired of it. I got it for free when I bought a new uh, CPU for my PC. I was like, here's Red Dead Two. I was like, that's not getting installed. I don't even know where it is right now. It's just there somewhere I, in the ether. No, <laughs> it's no, so bored of it. I love Red Dead. Like I'll be honest with you, like there's, I I have these feelings. Like when we were stuck in lockdown. And we had we couldn't go out or anything. This might sound stupid to you guys, but I we couldn't go out. We couldn't go out for fucking do anything whatsoever. I put on Red Dead, and I'm being deadly serious. That fucking game helped me so much by making me feel like I was out and about type of thing. You know, I used to go hunting. You know, it, it sounds fucking stupid, but I used to just go off and try and collect all the all the like the animals to you know to do your fucking you know your armors up and stuff like that or your different clothing and stuff like that uh and it, it just it just had me fucking fixated like for hours upon hours and then I, what i would also do as well is i'd go around and find like the secondary missions but actually don't tell you that there's a secondary mission there like there's a meteor place where a meteor is hit up in the mountains doesn't tell you anything about it you've just got to fucking stumble across it and then a, a little story of that happens and it's it's just i red dead is probably one of my favorite games top top three games easily red dead 2 i like I, I like, like i said i like i like the red dead games but and i mean i like og oh, og oh, just said he like he likes red dead i never got into red dead like, i never tried it because i'm just being off red dead, so great. i've been off red dead so quick which you know but I think one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy Red Dead 2 was it felt so empty. The map felt fucking... It just felt like there was nothing fucking there. Mm. It's, because, it's because there's no communication. If you want to do anything, you'd have... Um... Uh, what is it? Uh... The the fire, the signal. There's no there's no cell phone. Oh, you got to go find the paper, innit? It, yeah. won't, no, it, it won't even to do with that. It's just like you're riding around, and I just generally felt like there was fuck all to do. Like, all the games I've played that have got... I mean, the only other game I could really sort of say was the same as fucking Just Cause 4. There was fuck all to do on that as well. But it just felt like the map was there. There was so much potential with what they could do and add to it. it, it, it that was that was just it. I'd be, I'd be riding for 20 minutes to the fucking next town for them to be like oh yeah, yeah, yeah like, the person you're looking for just fucked off the way you've just come i'm like you're taking piss like i'm not fucking going back now like it, that, that's it then fuck it and then like oh here's the bounty it's the other side of the map fuck no that bounty's gone now like, yeah, I, know, I, know, I know what you mean but like i i just used to love you know just going out there collecting all the different things i don't know what it was obviously what sword man was saying he didn't want to fucking feed his people you know i understand that you know uh, but that I enjoy, I enjoyed wanting to do that. I don't know what it was. I, I, I think what it was is with me is like as soon as like you, you would get off your horse, and you would like you'd you'd have your like your your rifle on your back, 
and then someone would try and take like attack you and you'd pull out your pistol while just having a rifle out trying to shoot a rabbit or something and you would pull out a pistol and he would hold his rifle in his like left hand rather than throw it back on his shoulder he'd have it on his left hand and then you'd pull out your pistol and fucking quick fire and it just everything about it just felt so smooth i liked how you could only carry like two weapons at a time uh when it like you know two like you so say you could only carry your bow and a rifle uh or a shotgun and a rifle you know something along them lines I just, I just, I just fucking, I enjoyed Red Dead, and, and and I've got nothing bad to say about it. But fuck you, Soul, for making me fucking say it was shit. Fuck you, Soul. <laughs> Red Dead was a lot better. I can remember like little Billy and fucking Mr. William and Modox as well. Modox when he got oh, that in the Red Dead, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah, when we used to go in, we used to go in the tavern, didn't we? In uh, in Valentine, we used to like smash everybody out the windows. And <laughs> yeah, shit. yeah. You, the fighting on it was amazing. Like you would have fights yeah. with people, you would throw them out the window, they'd, they'd like fall onto the floor, they'd be covered in fucking mud and shit. And then you'd obviously you'd you'd, you'd play it uh, off like you've got your, you you fucking stink of shit, you know? Uh, yeah, like that that was fucking mint. That was that was good. Red M was good, and I think that. It could have had a lot more potential, but it's obviously people want the modernized, the mo modernized era, don't they? With you know GTA. Yeah, the GTA no, Six has been out for a while, hasn't it? Been GTA Six. I run you... about it, but like you never see it. We're not going to see anything for that. Like until Rockstar are the ones that release and say, "By the way, here is GTA Six. It's all speculation, isn't it? Like yeah, it's always going to be speculation. How long like... has it been since the new one's been out already? For GTA 5, GTA 5 has been re-released like four times now. We had it on PS3 and Xbox 360. Then we had it on PS4, twice. Then we've had it on PS5. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, it's, it's gone, it's, 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 it's 2013 it came out. That's when... It came out 2013, so the game's been out for 10 years and they've re-released the game four times. Let's That's not as bad as Skyrim though. Skyrim's been released about 34 <laughs> times. It's ridiculous. Skyrim has made its way across and, every fucking and, console not the man. And what's it called as well? Uh, uh, the, last, the Last of Us. To, like the Last of Us. The Last of Us was on PS3. Then it went to PS4 Remastered. And then it went to PS5. Now it's gone to PS5, sorry. And it's obviously yeah. gone to PC. Yeah, which, I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, there's certain games now that... I mean, I wanna I wouldn't say they hold their own, but I feel like Last of Us is essentially doing it well, you know, you we've now got the T V series and you know, people have it's been voted as one of the best games, which essentially makes sense that they're trying to keep pushing it on, which is fine, but like uh I think GTA and like that franchise has been going for a long time and don't get me wrong, it's a fucking huge franchise. It's massive, but Oh, I don't when six was like a bit of best selling game ever. Easily. That's if it, that's the thing is that's if it comes out because when is it due to come out? Like look at the way the games are going now, right? right well, probably I, I I think if if it gets announced this year, potentially we could get it at the end of next year. If it I doesn't get if it I doesn't get announced this year, no, nah, more be this year. Honestly, I don't I don't see GTA. I don't see me personally GTA Six. No, I mean, if it gets announced, if it gets announced this year, if, I don't if, think it'll get announced this year at all. I generally don't. Think, I think we're still another two, two, three years off of the announcement for the new GTA because, like, I mean, if you would go off the old GTAs and how long the old GTAs ran for, we've way past the lifespan of GTA Five massively. But I think. They, I, me as a personal point, I think they've rebooted the lifespan by re-releasing the game. And obviously, they still make a they still make a crazy amount of money off um, shark cards, and they keep releasing new updates for GTA Five Online, which is essentially their way of holding on to <coughs> holding on to the game right now. Basically, say, well, you know, people said, "Oh, GTA Six is coming out," but here's an update for GTA Five. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, the game's still going. Keep playing, guys. Well, obviously, it still makes money for him, doesn't it? So, I mean, look at the RP scene at the moment, right? It's what? It's huge. Fiverr is huge. Oh, yeah. Right? They must be. It's, right now, right? Rockstar clearly somewhere. I don't know how. They're clearly making money somehow. Clearly for the 50 stars. 
of five then. They, they have to be, otherwise they won't allow it to be done. Do you know what I mean? And like all of us here have all been playing five then for a good length of time. We've all been into different cities. Fuck, we've all been in the same city together. Do you, do you know what I mean? All right. And we've all enjoyed it, otherwise we wouldn't have done it for however long we've done it. You take a break, you go back to it. But like it's we all know full well it's still going. Do, do you know what I mean? Like I don't see GTA six I don't see Rockstar doing anything with GTA five now for a good couple of years just until GTA five would have to die for them to then go, fuck right here. We probably should put push GTA six out now. Hmm. Right, I'm going to ask a question, right, to everybody in here. Obviously, one by one. I'll start with you, Afro. Uh, what's the game that you're mostly looking forward to this year? Oh, so, that, that I'm aware, well, that I know that it's supposed to be out this year, for me personally, it is Spider-Man 2. That's a good call. So, like, that, for me, is the game that I'm really, really looking forward to. But I don't know if it is out this year. We're speculating it's going to be September time. Um, it's between that and the new Tekken game. That's what I'm really. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, as an anime fan, I'm hoping an anime game comes out this year that's decent because there's fucking nothing right now for anime games at all. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, Spider-Man Two for me right now. Right, uh, OG, a game that you're looking forward to this year. Um, uh, what is it? That um, that survival one that's supposed to be coming out. <laughs> that doesn't exist, mate. That's fucking been full of shit. What the the the, the day before? Yeah, the day yeah. before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that one, man. <laughs> All right, ain't coming out. Right, no, that's, so that, that's right. so right. fake, man. Right, so so basically, this is what happened. There. It got announced, oh. right, that it was meant to be released of June last year, June twenty first, right? Yeah. And then it got the then. They came out and they said, we're pushing it back. So I, um, they said, we're pushing it back because there's a few bugs with the game that we're not happy about, so we want to get those fixed. So we're going to push it back to March, right? Jan around January time, and this is when it got completely, this is where it got fucking hilarious. Around January, it then come out that some unknown guy in South Korea is suing the company because the name that they've used for the game, he's had a, a, pat, a pattern on it since 2011. Oh, wow. So he's now suing the company, so they've had to suspend the game indefinitely while they come up with a new name. What? But they I'll wait until Minecraft fucking... 2 comes out then. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and I, I think I know what Soul's going to say, but what are you looking most forward to, Soul? Sex with Joe Biden. Ooh. Knew that was happening. Knew that one. <laughs> That's, yeah. No, it'll probably be Diablo 4, I would think. In that when out? I, nah, it releases in, well, June the 6th, but you get it four days early if, you, if you've if pre-ordered it. So what's that? No, you bought the deluxe edition. That came out then? That was the beta. Yeah. That was the beta. The beta. Ah, right. Never got to play it. I I played it. That that it Nightingale, I think. And Nightingale Night is pretty good. Nightingale, not seen that one. Yes, yeah, so survival game, but you go like, I don't know, you go like through portals to like different worlds and stuff. But I don't know, it looks pretty interesting. But I've not really seen a hell of a lot of it, so we just need to wait and see. But now I'll be Diablo Four for me. I think I'm on the same boat with Diablo Four. Diablo Four was a. Uh... The game that I've always been looking forward to. Obviously, I didn't play a lot of the beta because I, I, I'm a, I'm a person that doesn't don't like playing betas, unless obviously it's a shooter. I will play a shooter, which is a beta. Uh, but you didn't you didn't want to play the beta because your progression doesn't like carry over to the main yeah, game. Yeah, that's what I mean. I didn't want to grind something out and then having to grind it out again. That and I didn't want to do that as well. That's kind of would have put me off a little bit. So yeah, so I don't really play betas on them type of games but i'll definitely be getting diablo and smashing the shit out of that but uh to be fair though the, the uh the, i'm a bit worried about it though because obviously they're releasing like a battle pass and stuff to try and get even more money so I, I don't know Activision. 
As fucking well. Activision, right? <laughs> Activision Blizzard just want all the money, man. <laughs> like they're, they're going to be releasing expansions, like uh, probably like once a year. Then Battle Pass every three months. You've got, haven't you? Got to attack bosses at a certain time as well. So like, there's isn't the bosses that like, like generate the, every the three hours. The world bosses are every three hours. Yeah, <clears throat> but they're making it a bit like an uh, MMO. Uh, there's MMO features in it, I so you can uh, like I think you can get up to like twelve players like on the screen at one time, like doing the world boss and stuff. But I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about the whole MMO features, like seeing other people run about your world when I don't know. It's supposed to be like about you being like powerful as fuck. You're the only person that can pretty much save the world, but then you have like the same yeah. other people like running about. Depends where the story like, the storyline goes, though. You know what I mean? It depends what the story, how they make the storyline to be. You know what I mean? But if obviously, like you've just said, if you, if they don't make it feel like you're the powerfulest person, then it's you know it's it's not a Diablo, really, is it? It's a bit weird. But yeah, I, I, I'm just need to wait and see though. Uh, obviously, I've got I think I've got to agree with uh, Afro Spider Man Two. I'm looking forward to if that comes out this year, but definitely Diablo. I mean, I love the first. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a fucking weeb geek, fuck it, whatever you want to call it. Like, I love fucking all superhero stuff, I love my anime and whatnot, but like I said, I love a good story game. And, I mean, Spider-Man has always been, for me, it's nostalgic, but it's a nostalgia thing, do you know what I mean? Like, I've had Spider-Man games since fucking the PS1, you know? And yeah. uh, it's, like, up until the PS4 one, the best one for me was, you know, Spider-Man 2 on PS2. Like, that was... I find it very difficult to play a game that emulates a, spe a specific character that's been out for so long and is so well-known. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very easy to fuck that up. And to be that fair, game I'm actually was... looking for Assass uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage might be good. If they take it back to <laughs> the old-style fighting... If they do it like this fucking RPG shit, where it's not like, it, where it, I, I'm not going to be fucking happy with that. I, I won't be you happy. You know with what? It. I, I thought... was saying this the other day. I've not enjoyed an Assassin's Creed. I've personally not enjoyed an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag going backwards. After Black Flag, the fucking games were terrible to me. I hated them. Oh, what, what was after Black Flag? Was it Origin? Yeah, you, you had Black. So after Black Flag, you've got Syndicate, Unity, Origins, Odyssey. Uh, I think that's and there's I think there might Valha be one uh, more. Valha is it? What's it? Is it? Uh, no, Valhalla is like an expansion of Odyssey. Of Od is it Odyssey? Yeah, of Odyssey. No, no, like, no, no, it's not. Yeah. Is it, is Valhalla is the the North one, is it? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Valhalla, yeah, the North one. Sorry, that's the one. Valhalla, yeah, Val Valhalla. That was sorry, absolute yeah. shit. Like, like, do you know what? Do you know, I, my mate lent me Valhalla, right? I put it into my PlayStation. I did the first bit where you leave like your first area and go to the next place, and I've not been back to it since because they've stopped feeling like Assassin's Creed games. They really have. They just, no, you, like, don't feel, like, you don't feel like an assassin, pirate, isn't it? Well, that was Black Flag, right? That was Black Flag, yeah. Black Flag pirate, was yeah. amazing. Yeah, I thought it was an amazing like, game too. Yeah, like you were a pirate, fair enough, you know, open seas, blah, blah, blah. But when you were on land, it felt like you were an assassin. Yeah. You played Assassin's Creed 3. You literally were an assassin. It was the beginning of the assassins. You played freaking uh, Brotherhood, Revelation 2, the first, all of them, freaking quality. Well, the well, story was, up, you know what I mean? Up until Unity, they were still good. Like, Unity, Unity was fucking horrendous. I don't think Unity, Unity I, Syndicate. You know what? what? I don't think it was. Unity was actually a fucking good Assassin's Creed. It was just really fucking buggy because they tried to make they tried to make it very parkour -y. and the, 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 I think the animations were just making it a bit fucking difficult to deal with because it was quite smooth. Once they fixed it all and they did all the updates to it, it was a fucking smooth game that. Really smooth. It's smoother than all the others. I would... I, I would, mean... Uh, I don't know, because for me, I think the, the one that had the best the best parkour in it, in regards to that movement, was um, Three. Assassin's, uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed 3. The movement into Assassin's Creed 3 was, was fucking amazing. Yeah, I think so, that's I, what I mean. They, they tried to go an extra step with uh, Unity, where Mark, you, like, you would, like, you would flip, says, like, uh, flip through windows and you, would, you could go through like windows different like 
Well, you could you could do that in three, didn't you? There were like little shortcuts through like buildings where you could run through like a little door which went into the corridor, the side windows and stuff. But like Arkin said in my chat that he believes like Mirage will actually save Assassin's Creed. But it depends on how it's done. Like you said, if they do this whole RPG style play, then how's that gonna go down? Because like. I, I, just, I don't know, me personally, I, I think like certain things with games don't, once you've hit like a style, like it doesn't need to be changed too much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what, what was that, that for? I'm going to uh, bring up something now. Obviously, uh, elephant in the room. It's up to you if you want to fucking speak about it. I've fucking said my fucking points on this shit. Not the when you're going to bring this up. What? You know, you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know what you're always going to bring What you're going to see, so. So, who actually thinks Nitro Luke's hacking? <laughs> I don't. I, I just think he's got a great gaming chair. And I, I, I just Bye. think he's... He plugs his Cronus into that as well. He <laughs> was. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wall hacks. Look how, many, look how many look at look, let's be honest, right? Look how many streamers, look how many people, look how many everybody is talking about him and he's just started on a new platform. Great, great way to uh get his, no. his followers up on there. <laughs> even even if they're gonna be toxic or not, you know, his look at look at his movement on what he's caused on that. It's Friday. Like, not wrong. Yeah, that's the thing. It's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. 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 What's, what's, what's I'm saying? There's, there's no public. No. Oh, fuck it. Was it? There's no such thing as bad publicity because, no. like you said, right? Like, fuck. I mean, there is bad publicity. Like, obviously mm -hmm. there is. But the thing is, like, all the people who are could like. You know, going on about it, the fact that he hacked and whatnot, blah blah blah, blah blah. Like you said, he's living rent free in their in their heads, right? So, like, I don't, I personally don't know him at all. I've seen a few of his streams. I don't know much about him. I don't know, you know, all that stuff. I, I was talking to Dan about it the other day, right? That I used to watch a few streams and I stopped, like, and I've not been back there. You know, it is what it is. It happens with everybody. But the people who don't know who he is at all, like OG said, like there's posts on Twitter, there's posts on Facebook, it's freaking everywhere. They're gonna go to his stream to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. right? And some will stay, some will leave. But the ones that leave will probably go to an, a mate who doesn't know who he is and start talking about him and saying, oh, you know, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. Um, Nitro Luke Arkin, he's basically so put it into quick terms he is a or was a facebook streamer basically who plays call of duty who was very vocal about hackers not liking hackers not people who play, not playing with people who hack on warzone and i think it was like last week or the week before got caught out that he he, he was hacking so a lot of people have called him out for being hypocritical um for the fact of saying he hates hackers and he's been doing the exact same thing it's uh i just think it's i i'll be honest with you i i said this the other day for a good long period and i had you know i've i always backed up luke you know i never said really a bad word about him you know people used to talk shit about him around me uh i never used to get involved in it because i i still remember the days that he did help me out when it comes down to what's called yes you know he did some bad things to me in the past, but we had a conversation after that, a private one. And, you know, from there, I never played with him since then, but, you know, I never went out of my way, you know, I, I, I never went out of my way to give him shit or anything like that. I just, I just, we, we just left it as that. Uh, there was like a mutual respect. Uh, so if four days ago, if someone would come up to me and said, do you think Luke's hacking? I would have been, nah, I don't think Luke's hacking. Do you know what I mean? He's I, like, uh, uh, but if people was like, obviously the Cronus thing, I didn't really give a shit about because I thought, you know, that could have been, you know, uh, that could have been the truth. You know, he's only using it to reduce his MS on, you know, console or whatever he's trying to do. Uh, but, you know, you, you, there's nothing you can really 
if he's not got scripts on it and stuff like that, and he, he's no way of proving it, you can't you can't really say anything. But that video where he's shooting people in a fucking glitch and he can't see anybody. Yeah, then tracks them through and kills them, downs yeah. them and kills yeah. them at the end. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, there's, if whoever fucking believes after that. Uh, you you you've you you're fucking mental in the head. It's as simple as that. You've got something wrong with you if you cannot see that 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 is pure hacks. It's not that there is the 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 second. I think it's the second to last guy he downs. Uh, and he starts to shoot through like a big post in front of him. He gets shot and he starts shooting through a big post. Now he can't shoot through this big post because it's got. It's a it's it probably doesn't have uh penetration on it. So he can't penetrate this big fucking post in front of him. So he ro he rotates a bit to his right, but the aim, if he if that post wasn't there, he would be shooting the guy through the floor. A hundred percent. And I don't know why, because he's a clever guy. He is an intelligent guy. I don't know why he got so lazy in doing it like that. And he just thought, you know what, I don't think anyone's gonna be asked now. I think I think that's what he was. I think that's what he, he went. I went with it, and I thought he, he. I think he got too clever for his own good, and and uh, thought that people wouldn't notice what he was doing. But that that to me was literally blatant. Not to mention he, the the guy who he shot under the ground. He instantly shot him, and then the guy could have rotated left, right, up, down. And I got told the other day that he said, "Now listen to this." I was mean told you, it. If you if you fucking shoot some he, he said on his stream if you shoot some, if somebody within 15 meters of him you'll be able to get a registered hit marker on him eh yeah that don't make, that don't make sense and what do you mean if you like, so, 15 meters yeah, what 15 meters and I was like 15 fucking meters that means that you would never miss anybody what's it mean by you get a registered mark, hit marker on him because like what you just hit 50 meters in any direction when you just spray and then you just hit them like yeah that so, doesn't if, make you, any sense so if you're hit firing you can get a hit marker within 15 meters of him so That's you, fucking if, huge that is massive <laughs> and i was like you've got you're talking fucking nonsense if you think that's the that's gonna happen i like, can just said the same thing i can literally said 15 meters that's massive that doesn't make any sense whatsoever if you hit firing but, uh, and just because just because you get a hit marker, that doesn't mean you know where that person is. We could actively, all four of us could go into a room now, into a game, and I would say, right, I'm going to go into this building now, and I want you to shoot me in this building. And, and what's called... Like, and you're actively looking to shoot at me three walls, right? You're actively looking to shoot at me, but you don't obviously have cheats on. There is no fucking way that you would be able to kill me. No way. You wouldn't be able to trap me. You might get the lucky odd shot on me, like now and now and again. But what he did is where he fucking, he got, he got hit markers and then he tracked him instantaneously. There's, there's no way in hell that you would be able to do it. It's just, there's not a fucking chance. No, nah, not knowing exactly where, where he's going. Like, yeah. I, I do that as well. Like, I'll shoot through, like, a wall. I get, like, a random hit marker or whatever. But, I mean, like, 99 times out of 100, I'm never downing that person. Or I'm never yeah. tracking exactly, like, where he's running. There's no, like, there's no way we'd know yeah. where Question that guy is, was running you know to unless he's... he's... <laughs> yeah, unless he knows where he is. You don't, you don't, you don't kill, three, you don't kill <laughs> three, three, four people in that fucking underground where you can't see anybody. Do you know what I mean? No. The only yeah. time you're getting a, the only time you're getting a, I'm gonna say like the only time you're getting a knockdown, right, or a kill through a wall, is if you see them run. Let's say they run to the right, right, and you just spray the living crap out of that wall and just happen to get a knockdown. That's literally, you, you know what I mean? You've got to full on spray. You're not taking pot shots or clean shots and continuously hitting. Unless that person stopped and every single one of your bullets was just in a straight line, and you were the luckiest fucker on earth. But that's not happening, is it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the video where he tracked them, and you're like, oh, it's a glitch in the floor. That doesn't make any sense, because nobody else is seeing the same thing. So, explain more. Like, what do you mean it's a glitch in the floor? Do you know what I mean? 
Did you say anything uh, like about that clip? Um, so I saw something on Facebook that people were kicking off about it. And it wasn't actually even about him that they were kicking off about. It was the fact that um, BBB apparently had come forward and said something about uh, like trying to defend what had been said, and people were kicking off about that. But I've not, I mean, I've not seen anything else about that now on Facebook. It's like it's just disappeared into the ether, basically. Like it came out, it was said, it was done, it was done. Jobs are good and it's moved on. Like everyone sort of, I was it's forgotten because right? they haven't. Like people have just gone, oh, fuck it, you know. Yeah, I think it's come to a point people are so used to now that people are hacking on war zone, everyone just fucked off about it. Everyone's like, fuck it, there's another one, put them in the box, let's fucking move on. Oh, he's got that idea. Like, Followed me. I reckon we should just start by hacks and just like just go all ham on war zone and just have a laugh. I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm not joking, right? I think it's easier now to fucking pick out the streamers who haven't hacked walls on than the ones who have. Do you know what I mean? Every time I turn on Facebook, it's another fucking streamer being exposed to hacking. So, so obviously, we 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 know that you obviously suffer with you know uh, you you have to use mouse and keyboard for every game that you play, and obviously when you was back on PS4, was you using a Zim back then, or could you have used a Cronus to use a what was that? Sorry, I was talking to the chat. So you, can you use a Zim back then? Like, was you using Zim to use on PS4, you know, to transfer the uh, mouse and keyboard over to... On the uh, on my PS4 and Blackout it was, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it was a Zim. I had to. Yeah, it was a Zim. It wasn't a Cronus. I didn't even know about a Cronus at, like, yeah. at that time. It was, so is that classed as hacking? <laughs> That's no hacking. Oh, I'm joking. I mean, you could say, look, he would say, he would say it's cheating. But then the thing is, I, I said, right, as soon as a game comes out that's cross platform or whatever, I'll move to PC. And Warzone came out, I moved to PC, play mouse and keyboard. At least I didn't go to Warzone on PC and uh, download fucking wall hacks like, uh, like some people, right? <laughs> that's like, what I mean, like, like, the community. like, we've all been, like, a lot of, a lot of people have been, uh, fucked over by the amount of you know hackers it, but it, it does make me question who the fuck is actually legit now because i oh, really thought i re like it, like i think that <laughs> luke obviously is not liked by a lot of people but i don't think anyone would have thought that he would have fucking cheated not well, the reason for that though is because of how vocal he was about not ha about hating hackers do you know what i mean like if you if you're so vocal about something like and you openly put out there how much of a hatred you have for it of course people are gonna you know they're gonna doubt that that's something you would do like if you physically like i fucking hate this i hate this i hate this i hate this i've never i'm you know i don't understand why people do it then obviously people are going to be like oh well clearly he's not gonna fucking ever do it is he then and then to find out he did it that's why people are like what the fuck do you know what I mean? yeah it's that that to me is where I just couldn't under I couldn't understand it. Do you know what I mean? But like I said, four days ago I would have said if someone said to me is Luke hacking, I would have turned around and gone, No, I don't think he is, no. I I, I think it's and, and that's what's really fucking got me because I thought, no way. You the know, thing I'm, is back in Warzone One as well though, he had a he had a few clips which which was sus as fuck as well, and no one like really said anything about it. Yeah. It's weird. I've seen some clips of other streamers that I think sus, but you know you can't really put a finger on it because yeah. I, I've seen some top streamers. For instance, I won't mention a name, but like back on Warzone, you drop down on a building. They didn't even go in the building. The new people was around there, and he dropped down on the door just before the door, and he just sprayed straight through the door and just like he knew exactly where he was and downed him straight away and killed him out through the door. I think I know who you're on about. Oh, yeah, he just, ever... he just did it, and I was just like, I couldn't question it, and I, I'm not mentioning names, but I did see it, and I was like, you know what? No way has that just happened, because it, it that person could have been anywhere in that room, and he just literally aimed at the door, straight on the guy, downed him, pulled his cursor down, and then finished him off through the door. The door was shut, and then that was it. He moved on. Did you ever see that um, I, av the average dad video? Get, get saying names. The, the, get I'm, saying, names. I'm, I'm not yeah. saying who it is. Oh. <laughs> did you ever see? Did you ever see average dad's video with the uh, cod hackers? 
is, is someone hang on is someone said in my chat is y8 been caught cheating uh no why uh, no I, I i truly believe that liam is not hacking i'm not talking about liam here by the way no well um well i don't know if any of you guys sorry because like all three of you are cod players streamers whatever you know you you all play warzone dfd all that stuff but uh, a while ago like average dad to the stream where he went into a lobby and played the game with three hackers and it wasn't even, you know, like they were attempting to hide the fact that they were hacking. They just fucking Rage blatantly, hacking. fucking mate. It wasn't even fucking. It it, it it wasn't even hidden. Fucking cross the map snipes. Fucking aim bot walls. The fucking lot. Whatever you want to call for hacking, they fucking had it, and it was obvious that they were doing it. Like blatantly obvious. After the game, they went into his. Uh, they went into his like they went into his stream. So he pulled, he literally pulled them into a call and basically said, fuck it, we're going to talk to these hackers and find out why they fucking do it. And I mean, granted, like, the, the, the only, the only props I can give them is the fact that they actually had a genuine conversation about why they hack, right? I mean, it's a stupid thing, but they actually generally, like, answered his questions about when he was asking them, like, why did they do it? What did they get from it? They were actually giving him answers, right? Like, genuine answers to what he yeah, was asking i think i've seen this oh, hackers are he, weird though man they're weird he said to them like when the game doesn't update how quick or how long after the update is done are you able to get your hack onto the game and they were like oh it's like 10 minutes to an hour what the fuck yeah that's fucking ridiculous like a game that big should have something in place to prevent hacking like i get it not all hackers are gonna get caught but there should be something in place to say if you're hacking you're fucking gone all other games seem to that's a lie it's a complete lie most of the games seem to have addressed their hacking issue they You'll always get hackers on pc it doesn't matter what game it like there's there's always weird little Weird I'm just people consoles. that want consoles. Consoles are the same. You can now you can have console games as well. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's it's not that. It's like because a lot of games now, like it's the battle royale. You know, only one person wins if you're playing solos. Obviously, only one team wins if you're playing. You know, there's no second or third. Uh, and it just becomes where they want to win they want to be able to get the best stuff like tarkov is probably the worst if if you get fucking hacked on in tarkov oh my god it's the, it's the most heart fucking wrenching thing ever you go in there you you stack your guy up with the best gear you know you've just paid like two hundred thousand rubles on one weapon po possibly more half and half a million rubles on one one weapon You've got your armor, which is costing like a hundred thousand rubles. You go in there and you get fucking pinged across, like from nowhere, in the head by the shittest ammo uh, and the fucking shittest weapon, and you think to yourself, "What the fuck, really?" Did you watch that uh, taco video that that guy, what was his name, Goat made? No, did no. 120 games with hacks and he wasn't killing anybody but he just wanted to see if uh, anybody would like if anybody had hacks so he would like wiggle he would like go left and right and the amount of people that went like across the map like wiggled to him as well seen that i've seen that um, oh really so he, yeah, yeah so he, play, that, yeah. he played 120 games and i think 65 percent of the, his lobbies had had a hacker in it and even then they they might have been a hacker that wasn't doing this wiggle back to him. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. It wasn't showing that he had hacks. You know what? The <laughs> That's... only way... The there was only one way... where the full team was as well, wasn't there? What was that? There was one where there was, there was one where he wiggled at him and there was a full team of three on Yeah, it was, it was like three of them, team. I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the only way that's ever going to get fixed now, right, is if the... Because now, obviously, streamers are one of the biggest ways the game, the game developers get the content for that game out to people. Like, it's all well and good doing a teaser trailer or you know whatever, but streamers are now one of the biggest and free like free ways to get your content out as a as a, you know for, as a game company, right? The only way that that issue is ever 
going to get fixed, right, is if they do literally what the same thing happened with PUBG, all the big streamers playing the game just go, fuck this, we're not playing your game until you fix your shit. Because when they did that with PUBG, the speed that they went, fuck, we best fix this hacking problem now then, otherwise no fucker's going to play it. Because I remember... I thing is, though, watching... PUBG, PUBG's a bad one to fucking watch car because it is so popular in the Asian countries, it's ridiculous. No, no, no which is completely, which I completely get. But what I mean is, I remember, right, I was sat watching uh, Summit 1G was playing PUBG, and he played, like, three games with hackers, and he was complaining about the fact that the hacker's in the game. And then he booted it up one day, played the game with a hacker, and just went, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. Turned the game off and went, right, chat, we're not, we're not playing PUBG now until the game's fixed. Fuck, I'm fucking done with it. I cannot be arsed playing this game anymore. There's too many hackers. It's no fun anymore. We're going to go do something different. And then that's when he went back to doing GTA RP. Right? Shroud did the exact same thing. Shroud just went, fucking done with this bullshit. There's too many hackers in this game. Let's go figure out something else to play. Started playing Fortnite. All of the big PUBG streamers collectively at the same time just went, well, there's too many hackers in this game. Let's bounce to something else and go do some do some else. The game dropped numbers like a fucking shit. It just their numbers dwindled to the point where they just went, "We're probably going to have to either turn the game off or do something about the hackers." It's plain and simple. There's no way around it. They were forced. They were fully forced into doing it because the people who were bringing everyone to the game literally just went, "Boom! Right. Well, we're not playing this no more." Communities aren't going to play this anymore, and they're fucking big communities. They they go all your numbers, so now you're going to have to fix it if you want this to come back. I and... I, I don't know how Warzone is still still going in all honesty. This ricochet anti cheat that they've made is, in all honesty, probably fucking the worst <laughs> anti cheat I've ever seen in my life. I don't. But it worked against Luke, right? Well, it worked, yeah, guy disappeared but, right in front of him. Yeah, but the thing and is, then... though, how long has that taken it to do that? Do you know what I mean? How long has Ricochet been out? Well, when did it come out? Like, uh, the thingy update, right? Um, the Caldera map, was it not? Yeah, yeah. And Warzone 1. I hated so that, that map. So that's what I, I mean. It. It come out from then, but the hackers were still going around. I, like, I just don't understand why they just don't use, like, what everybody else uses. But don't they have their own anti Well, no. I this... say this with quotation marks. Anti they have their own anti-cheat, supposedly. Like, the thing is, though, right, this this anti-cheat of Ricochet, it still goes off. If somebody fucking reports you, you get banned type of thing. And if if people like like myself, I don't... Like, when I'm playing sometimes, I just get to the point where I just fucking skip the fucking kill cam and just fucking piss off, and I don't want to spectate somebody. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of them, like, I'm not going to report... But uh, obviously, you do get people that will sit down and watch the, you know, watch it. But it's just like I just don't understand, man. Like they, they, they fucked up massively with Warzone, just in general, just all of it. Just that game should be just fucking burnt and never fucking mentioned again. It is a <laughs> shit <laughs> game. Yeah, just... well, that's the thing because they've made they've made their money and they're thinking, oh, fucking like they're fighting, aren't they? They're fighting Apex. They're fighting Fortnite. They're fighting. You know any other fucking shooting battle royale at the moment that that that's that's what they're doing. You know it's like that fucking the thing that you you know you say like when you think of the two well when you used to sorry think of the two biggest games for when it comes to shooting it was COD it was Battlefield. Do, do you know what I mean? Like the now like Battlefield's gone. COD's now trying to move into this new era no, of battle no, royale that all the other oh, games are doing and. They're trying to hold the candle, and I'm not going to lie. Like I've said it, I've said it before. People said to me, oh, I'm, "I'm wrong for saying it. it ain't true." But fucking, they're trying to. They're, it's like they're trying to battle with Fortnite, and if they are, they're fucking losing. No one, no one, can, no one competes. Big with time Fortnite. losing to Fortnite. No one competes with Fortnite. It's and it's like just I've said to level. people who play COD, like go play Fortnite and see if you enjoy it. See if you don't find it way more balanced. Like, yeah, granted, I know it might not be the style of look, like the game might not look like the style of game that you want to play, but the same concepts are right there from everything that you've got from COD when it comes to that battle royale aspect. I, I, I think 
this it's year, a way I, more balanced game. I think this year, I think this year, right now, and I'll be honest with you, what's going to take over? X Defiant's going to start taking over. I think that's going to be a really good game to watch out for. But also, they've just uh, brought out the cinematic trailer for Heartland, uh, Division Heartland, which is going to be a looter shooter uh, extraction game. And I think that might that could possibly do well as well. I think uh, the looter shooter genre in general is just going to, I think that's the, the next step in gaming. That's why Dr. Disrespect's made one. And in all honesty, Dr. Disrespect's game isn't actually that bad for what it is. Like, the, the concept of that game is going to be, I think it's going to be really good. Once he gets it all sorted out, all fixed up, the weapons, you know, get balanced, you know, the movement becomes better. I think with the likes of, you can either win the game by killing everybody in the in the actual map itself you can extract with your stuff uh i think them as it gives you them two options and obviously be, the there's not a surrounding area that comes in it's uh, an area that pushes up from the bottom so uh like if you've not played it it's like a, it, it freezes from the bottom sections and then it goes all the way to the top so it pushes you all the way to the top uh and I think that that'll that'll be uh, you know interesting to see how they make that better. So I I think the next genre in games is going to be the looter shooters, but with looter like, shooters. What looter shooters are coming out though this year? What Heartland? Yeah, Heartland. Yeah. But I don't well, know. You, you've been playing, haven't you been playing one that uh, medieval one? Oh, dark and darker. Yeah, there's yeah. a medieval. Uh, like it's like it got a combination like battle royale. It's, it's pretty damn good, but whether that game will come out or not, it's a different story because there's been a lot of controversy happening with that as well. You have to, so, you have to, you have to download that through a torrent now, don't you? Yeah, but the, the, the playtest has stopped now. It's because they're being sued by Nexum. That's the freaking other one, isn't it? This freaking whole game. I was it like game announced, games being announced that we're sat here going, all right, cool, let's play this. Still waiting for games to be dropped do you know what i mean the hunt the like, hunt showdown is a game that a lot of people overlook as well if you've ever played the hunt that's, that's showdown, a decent game yeah like do you, they do some good updates on that speaking about rails that massively get overlooked um masquerade the forgive vampire game yeah that battle royale was actually really good in all honesty like, that's, all, that's all right I can't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, like with battle royales at the moment, and just I'm not enjoying like any shooters that I really play. Because me, me, and you played that damn, did we not? Yeah, yeah, we uh, did. Yeah. It, 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 like I said, it wasn't. It didn't. It didn't grab us. It didn't grab us like. Like I, I don't think I'll ever get grabbed by a a battle royale like I did with PUBG. So when I first got my PC, and I first bought PUBG, I absolutely loved it like i would i used to work around the car and i would come home on my dinner and i'd have a couple of games of PUBG on my dinner and then go back to work and then finish up and then play more PUBG when i got home i fucking loved PUBG, and i still enjoy playing that game today but obviously when i was playing with liam we was playing casual and we tried to get ourselves ranked and when we did get ranked we went into the rank mode and i'm sure to god that that's where all the hackers are at because Nothing. I've never ever been fucking so hum like so humbled in a game in all my life. Like everybody seemed to be an absolute fucking god, and it just made mm -hmm. me think, Jesus, am I this shit? Like, ah, uh, like uh, because I, I, me and Liam was both getting between you know every game we would push everybody we'd get between 15 and 20 kills each on the casual we went to that and we was just getting battered by everybody like everybody we were proper humbled like uh, that's, that's the thing with hackers isn't it like they'll of course they're going to be in the ranked one because like it's as stupid yeah. as it is to hack, it, to hack anyway there's not there's no what's there's no gratification of doing it in a casual in a casual match, like you don't get anything from it. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, I play like the Shinobi Striker game I introduced to you, Dan, right? 
There's fucking hackers in that. There's no rank system in the game. The fuck, what are you hacking for? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're not getting... You're, there's no leaderboard. There's no... There's, there's nothing. So you've got no gratification of hacking. You, all you're going to get is people remember your name and just go, well, that guy's a hacker. Fuck playing them. PUBG has a rank system. You know, there's gratification for if you're quite high up or whatever. So that's why people hack. Yes, it's fucking stupid, but that's why people do it. But yeah, like that's why I said to you now. I think personally, battle royales are coming to the end of their lifespan now. Like because there's nothing, there's nothing new that you can do. What's what's new to do with them? Do you know what I mean? That's, that's... like it's just the same. You play the game, and like yeah, each game's going to be different depending on who's in it and how you play. It. But once you've got your own sort of play style, you're going to play every game. You're going to play most games the exact same. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll be honest with you, right? There's there's a game that I like playing right now. I'm not too sure. I think, so man, you may have played this. I play a, a lot of Hell Let Loose. And that's easily one of the best games I've, I've played in a shooter-wise. I don't know what it is. I just love that game. I really do. I've not, I've not played it, but uh, like I've seen a lot of videos on it, man. It is a great game. That like, if you've got a, if you was to have like a team of five and you all played together every single day, uh, you was all on the same server, you you absolutely buzz off it because it's just one of them games that is just amazing. It really is a very well made game. It's like squad, but easier. But yeah. I'm just looking at the chat just now. There's somebody just put in the chat. It's like COD wants you to pay full price. The game's not like finished. Like it still has to be like it's it's like a beta when when you're playing COD these days, right? Yeah. Like it's it's, it's not properly finished. Then obviously you've got the battle pass on top of that to pay for, and so you can unlock guns. It's just yeah, the gaming's just in a shit state. I think. You know what? One one a game that I think is one of the like a really fun game to play with your mates. Sea of Thieves. You ever played Sea of Thieves, so? Uh, I did. I played it for like an hour and I, I was bored. The it, it gets very boring very quickly. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I played it for like an hour and I just, like it was cool like going about the sea and stuff and then like going to the little islands, but then I don't know, I felt like once you'd done that a couple of times, well, same yeah. again, it's just, it just feels like you're just doing it same over and over and over again. But guess yeah. what? Like, I think it's what you make of it though. Like, if you do have like a, a team with you, like you've got a couple guys like there with you, like it, it, it would make it. But nah, I don't, the, the I, issue I, I is though, see if Thieves is now dealing with hacker a uh, hacker issue. Why is everything to do with hackers, bro? <laughs> like, why is everything to do with hackers, bro? <laughs> Jesus. They're dealing with a massive issue with hackers on Sea of Thieves now, and they have been for the past couple of months. Like, it's just got to a point now where if you want to play a game and enjoy the game, you're playing a co-op game or you're playing a fucking solo story game. I'm telling you now, it's fucking ridiculous. Any game that has any form of online fucking presence, best believe someone's hacked the fucking game. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. I can literally just said in my chat, see if Thieves is unplayable because people can raid you out of nowhere. Like, it's... It's gone crazy now. Like I don't understand what's happened with the game that everyone now thinks, oh, fuck it, let's just hack the game. Like People are... Hacks that they're using now, they've made the ship unsinkable so you can spray it with fucking God knows how many cannons it won't sink. They've changed the cannons so their cannons are like one shot, but hit you once, your ship, ship will sink. They've got like, this invisibility one where they'll just pop up out of fucking nowhere. It's, it's weird. It really is weird. Like like the fucking what are you like like a submarine Just essentially come, come yeah, next it's, it's it's weird it's really weird as has anybody played yeah what the fuck's this boundary what the hell's boundary 13th of april boundaries come out space fps i've never even heard of it 18 quid on Steam. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, wait, no, I did. Um, oh. 
oh, the skill if I was watching the video him playing. It says it's it says it's all right, but it's like it's early access and there's like a like a lot of bugs. Um, I think it's either yeah, I think it's either like Chinese and the local localization stuff like isn't even like all done yet and they've released it here, which I mean doesn't really bode well for the game if they, they don't even have the localization done right. But yeah, it seems like people are saying that thing is bad. <laughs> yeah. He did say that like maybe check it out in a few months and see like what the state of the game's like, but like as of right now it's not really worth uh it's not really worth playing. There's, there's, I, I was pretty devastated what about that game, but uh that day the day before I was devastated when I f like when it come out that that was just a big fucking mm. farce because I was actually looking forward to getting involved in that. You know, going into some Daisy type stuff. But uh but a positive yeah. a positive, in all honesty, that I do know about is uh with the new uh with the with the new the, 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 sorry, oh, that's just got fucking ban some. I just got to ban some little weirdo called Dead Eye Dan in my fucking chat. It's, it like comes in my chat, and then wait, starts... that, was, that wasn't you. <laughs> the one before was me when I messaged you. Oh yeah, but I seen the other one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even look. It was there. Uh, there wasn't even an underscore. You said Debo is one hundred percent right. You are really stupid. Fucking hell. <laughs> For one, his name's fucking Chris. You know. Uh, <clears throat> what was I fucking talking about? No, I fucking lost what I was saying. I, I know you were going to say something, and you just just blanked. <laughs> that uh, day before we was talking about when I oh uh, right oh, so yeah, yeah uh, the Last of Us uh, is bringing out a multiplayer, but it's just going to be multiplayer only, and I think that's going to be a massive, massive game because it's meant to be uh, a survival game. Did you uh, ever play the PvP on that, uh, The Last of Us? Yeah, yeah, and that was great fucking class. Game. Yeah, it was great. I love that. The multiplayer on The Last of Us was probably one of my favourite fucking multiplayers. So fun to do. You could fucking smash people up with a brick and then fucking shoot them in the head with a shotgun. And it just felt like you were just killing an NPC, but it was an actual player. It just felt really smooth, that game. Uh, Wait, what we'll game we'll for that? The Last of Us, the, the multiplayer. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah, on, the, yeah. on The Last of Us, when it first came out on PS3, it actually had a multiplayer. And... Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really good, like. Last of Us, like I said, I think we're in a, we're in a stage now for games that... I, would say, I wouldn't say we're in a good place for games. Is it, oh, here we go. Dead Eye like, Dan just followed me. I wouldn't oh, say we're in no. a good place for games, like, at all. I'd say the games that we're playing well, now yeah. are in a really... We're in a really shit place for games. Like, if the game isn't riddled with freaking hackers, then there's, like... If, like, if the game isn't riddled with fucking hackers, then we've got to deal with fucking... Um, bullshit games that just don't work if the game doesn't work then you just got to deal with bullshit people within the game like, it's just like if if it's neither of those two it's just a shit game like do you know what i mean we're just in this weird fucking spotlight of games that nobody wants to play or like developers are just giving us shit that doesn't work oh, yeah, just that's that's shit. we want to we, we want to play something that fucking works like or you uh, or you play a game that's fucking really good and then it just doesn't drop for fucking forever. Like, um, I was saying to you, Dan, that there's a My Hero Academia game coming out as a Battle Royale. I played the beta for it a fucking year ago and still not going the update when the game's about to drop. Yeah. Well, it, this is the thing, right? What I seem to be doing right now is going back to games that have been updated. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I keep going back to games that are getting updates. So it's like, uh, you know, I, I want to play this, the, the Hunt Showdown, because it's, uh, it's it's just been given a massive big update. Uh, yeah. And... I was just checking on the DLC for Hunt Showdown. 160 quid. Yeah, it's... 
for it's, all the DLC. That's nuts, man. It's got lows, though. It has got a fucking lot to do. That's, that's another one as well, isn't it? Fucking finding a game that you like and then finding out that you've got to put your fucking house up fucking for a second while it's just to buy the bastard DLC so you can play the full yeah, fucking game. Yeah, but the thing is, though, that has been out since 2001. Do you know what I mean? Like, Right, so, so but, but that's fine. 2001. If it's been uh, 2020, 2021, sorry. 2021. 2021. Fucking hell. <laughs> if it's been out that long now, then surely the DLC prices should have come down. Do you know what I mean? Like, games now, right? They'll, do you remember back in the day when DLC was free? It depends right? what the DLC is. If it's just cosmetic, if it's cosmetic DLC, then I can kind of... You know, couple, understand. There, right? But the thing is, right? So, for example, right? Someone in my chat just said something fucking excellent about DLC. Destiny. Destiny just dropped a DLC. That's the price of a fucking full game. Why? <laughs> and apparently it's absolutely terrible as well, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. It, it, apparently it's shit. Um, but the thing is, though, they dropped the DLC, right? And it's what? I think it's 80 quid or something like that. Fuck no. Yeah. I'm going to pay that for Harry Potter. <laughs> the, 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 you know the, DLC, I mean? the DLC in the Hunt Showdown doesn't give you it doesn't give you any benefit towards uh towards, towards, the game. Having, so, uh, towards so, so there's no benefit it is, it is all seems to be all cosmetic. It, 160 quid is fucking ridiculous. That's so high, well, especially now. Do you know what I mean? It's only because there's like, a lot of it, but it, let let me just tell you something right now. It is it it seems to be around about five pound to seven pound the seven pound 20 seems to be the highest one no eight pound 50 eight pound 50 is the highest one when it comes down to cosmetics right how much do you pay for fucking cosmetics on uh what's the card on uh cod like cod it's like 16 like six, cod points right like, which no, is no, like, that, like that's for 20 dollars or something that's fucking cheap ones that that's the 16 the 1600 but it's 2400 usually <laughs> well, that's true but usually you get like a nice gun camel with that though dan Ooh. yeah yeah fucking you know <laughs> which is which is the meta at the time <laughs> probably seems... yeah it's fucking two where... shot dmr that you can shoot where... through like every single building possible where this just gives you obviously you can get the gun that obviously what it gives you anyway but it just gives you the cosmetic skin for it so you when you have that gun you just put the cosmetic skin on it to make it look fucking more badass that's all which i don't mind when they do stuff like that but it's when they start doing what call of duty do and they say right we'll give you this attachment this attachment this attachment especially when you know that to get them attachments i've got to unlock three fucking different guns to get them you know the thing as well is that i fucking hate is like with cod right their battle pass system is fucking ridiculous right the amount of money that you've got to put into cod if you want something is insane do you know what i mean like and how much they charge for their cosmetics is again fucking insane but it's like other games that are trying to take that concept of oh here's a battle pass buy this you've now got shit good that's good for the game but like, do i don't you know mind I, mean? I don't mind doing a battle pass every three months if it's just cosmetic value stuff do you know the fortnite battle pass yeah Obviously, if you decide to put money into the game, you can do. It's completely up to you, right? But you actually didn't... If you played Fortnite from the very beginning, when they did the Save the World, right? Or if you actually still have Save the World now, that you can get the Fortnite Battle Pass without putting any money into the game. I do that. Like, Is the that game with... a grind on the single player, though? No, not in like no, the no. Save the World. No, not anymore. They've, they've made it to the point where, like, I think you can just go on, like, for three days, do the Save the World, and then you've got enough for the Battle Pass. Or, if you buy the first Battle Pass, right, which costs you, I think it's like six quid or something like that for the Battle Pass, that you get, you get the, like, off the V-Bucks alone, if you complete, like, most of the Battle Pass, you get, like, 3,000, I think it's, like, 3,500 V-Bucks or something, and the Battle Pass only costs you 900. So you can literally, off one Battle Pass, save your V-Bucks to buy the next Battle Pass, and so on and so forth. And just keep going well, you, could do, you could do that on card, yeah, you can do that on card, but it's yeah, obviously, which... it's, it's if you want to go through, you know, 
you get you get tempted to buy another you you, you see a meta weapon come up then it says like oh yeah you get this weapon yeah which uh, i mean that'll cost you like 16 quid or something like that do you know what i mean and it's like i don't know it's just like it's that whole pay like no you said uh, the other day break, now, it's that whole thing it's now pit they've made the game pay to win basically haven't they yeah do you, do you know what i mean and like i think that a lot of games are now trying to go down that route of they're just charging people money for shit that they don't really need to it's all about is microtransactions isn't it so microtransactions of games that don't need to be there to really that's, it, that, that's why i'm worried about um diablo is because like why does that give me the fucking battle pass yeah but same with the battle well. pass like, it's it's because because they did that diablo immortal as well didn't they they, they did that dab- uh, diablo immortal and just let's hope it doesn't go in that fucking direction oh no that that's crazy pity when you had like you had to pay like i don't know i think it was like seventy thousand dollars to get your character maxed yeah it's something rid- like ridiculous but it's i hope i hope they don't go in that fucking direction because that'd be really bad do you reckon they will? What? Go in that direction? With what? Like, make, like, having the battle passes pay to win? Yeah. Or, or, or you mean, like, sorry, you mean, like, Diablo 4 being, like, Diablo Mortal? Nah. Nah, they, they won't make it, like, pay to win like that. I think that the only thing that, you, that you'll be getting, really, is, like, pay for convenience. If you make, like, a second character, you can get, like, XP boosts and stuff, but you won't. I don't think they'll they'll do that. Nobody the backlash that they had with Diablo Mortal. Yeah. I don't, I don't think see, I don't think like there's anything wrong with in a game if you have like a second character to throw in an XP boost. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Do you know what I mean? Because it just means that fuck it, you don't want to grind again on another character to get back to the level that you were. If it's just XP, that's fine. But it's when they literally, like you said, you're putting in stuff as, you know, pay to win that that's where it becomes a bit questionable. I'm trying to think. When when does it come out? What Diablo Four? Yeah, yeah. When does it come out? That is it. The twenty sixth. Uh, no, June sixth. Beginning of June, isn't it? June sixth. But if you buy the deluxe edition, you get access at midnight on the second. So, next you get four days early. Next month, right? Coming up, I've got Final Fantasy sixteen to to go and do. Oh, that that that's, that's June as well, though, right? No, no, Final that, that's, June, that's June. Uh, it's, no, no, it's not. Final Fantasy is June. Yeah, it's June. June twenty second. Now, June twenty second is a couple of days. Yeah, after June twenty second. And also, oh, yeah. it's uh, yeah, they, they've just announced it's a PlayStation Five only game. What? They've not just announced that. They, they said it anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm fine with it. I've got PS Five anyway, which is fine. But again, another game I'm looking forward to. But like, I don't know. It's do, do we think, like, here's a question, what are your thoughts on exclusive games still to consoles? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Yeah, of course it is. What, is good or bad? Good. I think it's good. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. I think what's a good thing? What's Exclu- the intention? Exclu- exclusive games. Nah, I think it's a bad thing. Like, why, why would you say that's good, that people can't play? I Single player wise, I think it's good. If it was like, more... so, so Final Fantasy 16, you have to wait six months before it comes out on PC. It's PS5 only. I I I, I, I think it's a bad thing. I'm I'm always on this. No. I think so. I, I I used to like the fact that you know certain games were exclusive, but then I, when as you think about it now, it makes it so difficult in regards to like you you're just limiting who can play the game. Like there's no point it being. Uh exclusive to the console anymore because like the amount of people who probably will buy this on pc the amount of final fantasy fans who are on pc will want to play it and i mean graphically it's going to be better on pc isn't it? because pcs are stronger than your average console so why not have it out on pc Fuck it why not have it out on xbox you're going to get more sales because there's probably people who have had an xbox their whole lives never went to PlayStation. Who had uh, fuck, which fan fans it was it fan fans like 15 or something that was like on Xbox? I can't remember which one it was, you know, that played that really enjoyed it, but don't want to go back to the old ones because it's on a console that they've never had. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, cross like now, cross plays a thing, we don't need this exclusive, exclusive 
exclusive games anymore. I, I, like, I don't games. know because like single player games, I really do think that they're just made for that platform. Like God of War, you know, I really do think it's made for you. Either have it on PlayStation, and then you obviously wait and you get it on the PC. Do you know what I mean? I I I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't see any point on owning an Xbox if you've got a PC. I agree that I agree with. I just There's not I, like if you've got an, a PC, which is you know RTX, you know tw- you know twenty eighty going forward. You, there's no reason for you have the the like the Xbox at all. There's no reason for it because obviously you'll get every game like that. That Red Fall comes out. That Red Fall is coming out straight away on the Game Pass, and everything's getting put on Game Pass nowadays. And to be fair, like like you said, there's no having the there's no point having an Xbox now. Honestly, like what on the Xbox now? Like what is it that you can play that you can't play? on the PC Game Pass. There's like there's not much on there at all anymore, is there? Uh, there there is some games that like don't come to PC Game Pass but come to like Xbox Game Pass. Which is which is annoying. Is it a lot is it a lot or is it oh, nah, I, mean, I don't think it's a lot, but um But then you could say the same way around. You could say that like obviously the, you got you got the total war warhammers as well that are only on the PlayStation uh, on the PC game pass and they're not on the Xbox Game Pass. Because oh, that's the thing like well, that's the thing, though. In that, in that situation, you might as well get a PC. You might as well just pl- get a PC and play it on there because then you've got more of an option. Do you know what I mean? Like, I understand the difference between the, the, a PlayStation and a PC because there's a plethora of games on PlayStation that aren't on PC. There's loads of them. But, like, now, Xbox and PC, you've pretty much got like 90% of the same stuff. You might as well just, you know... I understand that the price point is very different. It's easier cheaper to get an xbox but in the long run with the if you get an xbox with the amount of games that you're going to buy you oh, eventually yeah. you, you eventually you will hit that benchmark of how much you pay for a pc yeah well, and if anything PC games are just like like i'm looking now like you can get a P, you can get jedi survivor uh now for 40 pound on on uh cd keys yeah, however, on console, that's a set price. Like, yeah, you can't, be, you're not going to be able to. That'd be 65 99 or something like that. Yeah, there so is, like, there yeah. is certain games, if they're, only, if they're only on Epic, then they will they will only, they will be a stupid this shit. Like, I think it's £50 they go up to on Epic. But yeah. I, I, I'll tell you one thing like, you get a lot more games on PC that you'll never get on console. You'll have more variety on PC. Like, Starker two when that comes out, that's going to be insane on PS uh, on uh, on PC. That will be insane. When is that Starker two out? By the way, Does anyone know? Oh, for the uh, last I saw, I didn't see a release date for it. I think it's still said to be announced, but yeah, you know, I'm just looking um... on CD keys now. And the only games that's coming out soon, really, is Jedi Survivor, Red Fire, that's... yeah, uh. 2K Drive Lego. Who gives a shit about that? That Gollum game looks absolute fucking pile of shit. That looks awful. <laughs> Things I... he delayed it as well because I had so much backlash that like people were like, man, this looks like a PS2 game. And then they released the trailer, what, like a couple of weeks ago, and it still looks like a PS2 game. Yeah. That looks fucking terrible. Street, Street uh, Fighter's uh, coming out. Street that's Fighters. another one. It, that's, that's another thing that game developers really need to do. Like, Drop a game when it's relevant. If you want people to buy your game, drop it when it's relevant. Dropping a Golem game now, we're fucking pointless. Rings of Power, fucking, it's, it's been and done. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you I, dropped I it around, I don't then... understand why they even thought, oh yeah, fucking Lord of the Rings Golem would be a good idea as a fucking computer game. <laughs> I, I, f- no one likes Golem. He's a dickhead. Of course. Because of course everybody wants to play as Gollum. Every single one, you know, person who watched Lord of the Rings wants to play as Gollum. Yeah. Like I, I don't understand why they they didn't bring out another. They wasn't thinking, thinking about bringing out another like Lord of the Rings game. Like there's a lot of the Rings games that come out. That that, that Shadow of the whatever it was called. I don't know what it was. Shadow Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. Yeah, they were that, they were really good, man. Like really good. Uh, 
fuck yeah, what the fuck? I don't understand. Like, do you remember, remember the, the older ones, like, back in, like, the 360 and yeah, stuff? Yeah, they were mint as well, weren't they? I remember, yeah. yeah. They're meant to be, they're, I, think, I think I know what you're on about, though. They're, they're meant to be actually uh, redoing one of them, like, remaking it. Because they did the first three, didn't they? They did, a, there was a Fellowship of the Ring game, which wasn't that good, but it was, you know, it was all right. There was the fucking second one, which was fucking excellent, and then there was the Return of the King, which, you know, had some pretty good reviews. Uh, but, like, it's one of them, wasn't it? Like, I feel like we're, we're, like I said, we're at this stage of shit games where everyone seems to have gone back to playing old games again because nobody wants to play any of the new stuff. Like, I don't understand. Like, look, look at that fucking... Uh, where, where they... Where Rocksteady went with that Suicide Squad, I have no idea. What in the fuck you know, were they do you know thinking? What? Do you know what? It's because of Gotham Knights. It's because of Gotham Knights that they thought that that was going to work. Gotham Knights isn't very good at all. Do you know the thing is, right? Oh, so Gotham... <laughs> Gotham Knights had potential. I don't get me wrong. I di I did enjoy the game, and the reason why I enjoyed the game, right, wasn't because of the game. It's because of the storyline. I knew that storyline from reading the comics, and it was in it was quite nice to actually play the story and see that story unfold. Yeah, the Court of Owls. There was no fucking suspense in it though, because it was nice to see the Court of Owls in a game, because it, you know you're like, all right, cool, but. I there was to, to me there was absolutely no like the only oh, the, the only holy shit moment that I had of the game literally the only time of the game I was like holy shit was, was a bit right at the beginning yeah <laughs> the, when, when when Batman was fighting fucking Raja Ghoul yeah that was the only holy shit moment of the game yeah that that that's probably one of the best fucking opening scenes of a game I've ever seen and it yeah. was like oh my god this game could actually be fucking incredible. And then you played it, and it was like, ever since then, it was nothing like it. Like, when you got to the end of the game and you got resurrected, I was like, well, I expected that. And then when you die, I was like, you dying again? I was like, for fuck's sake, why? Mm. Why'd you bring him back? Just to kill him again? What kind of, what a fucking pointless was that? And then the game ended, and I was kind of, and then people, the just, game you, you just fucking like, told me, and then I'm not even complete it, but. No, mate, just, I know, spoilers. I know. Mate, just trust me, it's, it's. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah. Well, it's not going to happen the same as it hit you, right? Because <laughs> you know what's hit, coming. Mate, it didn't hit, honestly, right? My entire chat at the time was just like, everyone watching it when I played it was literally like, oh, this is going to happen. Bet this happens. Bet this happens. Don't yeah, play the game. Too, I was, I was, was just too like, readable. Oh, oh. I was like, well, that was obvious, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Tricky Dicky, thanks so much for the follow. And it was just looking like... Like you said, and everyone who played it, well, everyone before was just saying, oh, well, it's not an Arkham game. And I was like, yeah, it's not an Arkham game. I get it's not an Arkham game. It's its standalone game. But it is very difficult to put out a game when you've got, you know, the I, I... older ones still sat there. Like, everyone loves the Arkham games. So then to go, oh, well, we're going to do a Batman game. What's for everyone's first initial reaction? Is it an Arkham game? I, I just don't understand with the Suicide Squad though. Like, like when they shown the fucking gameplay of it, it was just all guns shooting, and I'm thinking nobody wants that. Yeah, you can maybe have one character that, like, you, I'd expect Deadshot to be a like gun. You know, he, he he was mainly guns and stuff like that. You know, fucking hover hovering about with a fucking jetpack or something like that. But oh, it's a Suicide Squad. I mean, and all the gameplay Lopez is shooting like what fucking purple balls or something like on like yeah. the weak points. Like that is literally it. And, uh, and then I thought, why why haven't you got fucking Harley Quinn who's fucking beating the shit out of him with a fucking baseball bat, you know, and doing some close quarters like, you know, she has like a, a sawn off shotgun or something like that. She's And then you've got fucking Boomerang guy, whatever his name is. Uh, Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang, yeah. Why is he not up close and then he can throw, like, and then he can throw a Boomerang, you know, at someone else and, you know, like, but no, it was all like, that guy's got a gun. That guy's got a gun. And even the fucking shark had a gun. And you're thinking, hang on a minute. The, the fucking shark's meant to be quite fucking strong. He's meant, to mean, be, he's meant to be able to rip you in half and eat you and stuff like that. Why the fuck are he not doing that? No, he, he, mean, he could somehow jump fucking 900 fucking, you know, meters in the air and start shooting you. And then every, I think everyone's complained about it. And then they've actually, you know, delayed it now till next year. I mean, to be honest, though, that's not even their first mistake. Who the fuck wants to play as a Suicide Squad? 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't actually mind it, man, because I like the story that all the Justice League as you know, which, which, which is fine. Don't get me, which you know, it's like oh, neither, which is fine, right? But let's be honest, right? If I said to you, I'm going to make a game based on the DC universe, who do you want in it? Not a single fucking person is going to say the Suicide Squad. I think it's because they, I think because the Suicide Squad, right? The more of a realistic like type of thing now. You can't make a Superman game because he's too pissy strong. It just is. It, it just wouldn't be enjoyable to make a Superman game. They've tried it in the past. It was shit. Uh, the Flash. He's another character that's over fucking powered. You know what I mean? He can run round really fucking quick. What you're gonna do? Just keep running round and like and then punch someone in the face, punch another person in the face. The only thing that you can really have a half decent one with is probably uh, what's the name? The woman, Wonder, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Batman. That's the only. They're the only really like, Green Lantern. You might have a good one with him, but oh, who wants to play as fucking Green Lantern or Aquaman? Well, no one wants to play as well, Aquaman. No, nobody wants to play as them. But the thing is, though, you've got an entire universe here of characters that you can use, right? You've got the fucking. You've got the. You know the other members of the Justice League that people probably don't know about. It's quite a fucking. There's fucking loads of them. You've got the fucking Titans. You got Doom. There's so many other characters, and they went Suicide Squad. Why? No, he wants. I think he wants. If you really, make, if you really want to make, make a game with Suicide villains, Squad, it's quite right? dark. But here's the thing: if you really want to make a game with villains, just do a Harley Quinn and Joker game. Everybody would have fucking played that. Well, I think everyone would have played. If you wanted to make a villain game, you could eat, you could have had like, uh, you could have had Slade. You know, yeah. you could have had, you could have. Played, what's his name now? Fucking the Deathstroke. Yeah, so many, the Death. Deathstroke, Two Face. There's so many other villains that you could have used. The fact that went for Suicide Squad is like, what, the, why? Is it like you're trying to follow on from the fact that they did a film that was shit? I thought the, I thought like, the second one was pretty good. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> like honestly, when it comes to superhero games, I think it's very difficult and da- like I wasn't dangerous to do it right because let's be honest, right? The last one didn't do like the first one the avengers game did not do well did oh, it? Right. It, it it didn't so the fact that they attempted to do a suicide squad game well i think i haven't played it right but i think oh, the that, only that, one i've that? heard any that is the galaxy was fucking good that was a that's what i was gonna say yeah the galaxy, the galaxy game is the only one that i've heard any remotely this good really thing good semi good thing about the Avengers game, I remember I went halves with my friend for it, right? And I played the game out of... I played the game basically out of reluctancy on the fact that I, I bought it. I paid money for it, and I was like, I want to see this through to the end. About halfway through, I realised I'd fucked myself and thought, this game is absolute dog wank. Because they say to you, you can use any of the Avengers that you want to play the full game. You start off with Miss Marvel, and I was like, fuck using her. No one, who wants to use her? The Thor, Captain America, the whole, you know, you want to use the, 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 the known Avengers. You get further on into the game, and it's like, here, it's like, you now have to do a Captain Marvel mission, but this mission is rank 24, and I'm like, I fucking used this at the beginning of the game. She's rank three. The fuck do you mean it's rank twenty four? I have to go all the way back and level her up to do this bullshit part of the game. Like this game's shit. I don't want to play it. It yeah, completely I mean, bombed to the point they made it free, didn't they? Yeah. It was yeah. So like now, like any of the games that have come out, everyone's just like, "Well, fuck it, Avengers didn't do good." So here we go. The only one, like you said, that did anything decent was the. Guardians of the Galaxy game, but that's because it went a different direction where they did the, the single player thing, didn't they? Yeah. But the, the, the storyline was good to it as well. Yeah, which made sense. Like, But the thing is, the Suicide Squad game is going from what they've said. Like, I don't know, obviously, how much they're going to stick to it because it's not out yet and they can change itself. But it's gone down the same route as the Gotham Knights game, I, basically. I hope they make it an 18 plus or an 18 game. It has to be an 18 game. And the reason for it is because the Suicide Squad will only be good if it's an 18 plus game. I think because they're a bit, they have to be evil and twisted. 
because that's the only way if they're going to be anybody they're going to be you know the flash they're going to be superman they're going to be batman they're going to have to be fucking evil mm. anyway um, i think i'm going to be calling it there anyway i'm just going to uh shut up my uh, oh, stream actually before, before you go yeah, what you was on. what was your unpopular game and opinion Mine? Oh, uh, oh, yeah i came in like mid conversation in your oh, stream when you were I, talking uh, about it I come, I come in and said that I think Mario is shit. You think Mario's shit? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go and enjoy stream, man. Fuck it. <laughs> what? How do you think it's shit? I just don't like Mario, mate. I, I, I'm more of, like, I never used to enjoy Mario. And the reason why I didn't mind Mario is because... It was just like, every time I fucking played it, I felt like I was on ice. Don't get me wrong, I can play it. Yeah, you know, I, know, I know why you didn't like it. <laughs> Just reminds you of your childhood when the plumber used to come round, right? Oh yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> and, and, and the storyline to it was like fucking always that stupid bitch gets captured and gets taken to the same pissing castle, and you're thinking, why? And you keep getting captured. You fucking. Because Bowser keeps capturing her. Because he's like... a fucking. He must be a beast, him. And oh, Mario's just proper complacent. He's a fucking idiot. That yeah, but anyway, I don't. Just misplacing I, I I I think I'd I'd I said like I'd rather have played like Rayman. I enjoyed the first Rayman on PlayStation One when I first played Rayman. I was buzzing with that game. I thought it was mint. But uh, Rayman's I, yeah, Rayman was good back in the day in the PS One. Like Sonic I the Hedgehog, I, I enjoyed Sonic better than Rayman uh, than than uh, Mario. I think uh picking up those rings yeah yeah but my, yeah mario was a bit like it's just a, it, it wasn't my cup of tea my, my missus likes playing it but i can't fucking stand it and i don't think mario, mario 64 was any good as well also i said that zelda as well the ocarina of time i didn't ever play that because i, I just it just wasn't my cup of tea back then I like the new Zelda's though. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. It, uh, the new one looks pretty good as well. Yeah. The new one looks really good. Right. What was yours, Afro? Mine? Oh, the... Uh, I fucking... I thought Vice City was shit. <laughs> Thank fucking, God somebody agrees with me. I, just, I, just, I, just, I can't stand GTA Vice City. It's just everyone who fucking loved that game. And I just said it was just absolutely balling. <laughs> I, I hate the... I hate, the only thing for Vice City I like is literally the... Uh, the soundtrack that's literally it <laughs> i fucking i hate the graphics hate the story like <laughs> everything about the fucking game fuck you on about fucking and what was his name Ant antonio fucking i don't know I, I, he, he's, he, he can't even remember his name, no. his name. That's, how shit the, that's how shit the game was the only person i, I can really remember is obviously out of five which is trevor and i can remain, remember nico out of four like uh nico Obviously, the guy that comes over from fucking Russia. Russian. I don't know if he's yeah. Russian. Is is he Russian? Yeah, he's Russian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, See, so... I like GTA. I like GTA one, two, and three just because of the times. You know, like though they were very different games to play at the time. And obviously, you know, you were like, oh fuck it, I'm playing a game I shouldn't be playing because you know it's uh, they were uh, of the age on them. <laughs> Uh, I love San Andreas, but not for the fact of like the story. Of San Andreas was good, but fuck it. Do you tell me one person who plays San Andreas without putting cheats into the game? I I, I, I don't know because I, I can't remember playing it, but I remember playing like, it. I remember playing it because I remember going to the gym on it, and I always making yeah, my so, guy that fucking buff and then going around just beating people to fucking death. San Andreas, all you did was put cheats into San Andreas to play the game. That's literally how the game was played. You fucking, you loved it just for that reason. Vice City, fucking crap. I'm the wank. Absolute shit game. And then after that, you got, what is it? Um, right, guys, I'm going to start down like, the street. GTA guys. 4, What's GTA love? 5. Thank you so and much. Obviously, I they've just, well, GTA 5 has been living on, you know, for, forever. But like, that game's got no intention of fucking going anywhere anytime soon.